Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RWS Ratchadamnern World Series Legends of Ratchadamnern. Coming to you live from the world's first Muay Thai stadium right here in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. I am Aaron Suri Sompan and joining me is former Muay Thai world champion Antoine Pinto. And of course tonight is going to be another amazing fight night with the return of the living legend Buakao Banchame, who tonight will be facing another living legend from Japan, Kido. And of course it is always an honor to be here in the legendary Ratchadamnan Stadium, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. There's no better place to watch Muay Thai than here, right here at Ratchadamnan Stadium. established. In 1945, Rajdamnern Stadium has stood as the world's first Muay Thai stadium with 78 years of history. Rajdamnern Stadium is truly the home and birthplace of the art of eight limbs, the best form of striking in the world. Yeah, and of course, like Aaron said, the very first Muay Thai stadium in the world. It used to be very different from how it is now because we have entered a new era, not only for Muay Thai, but for Rajadam Nern, Aaron. Absolutely, yeah. With the establishment of RWS, Rajadam Nern World Series, the greatest Muay Thai tournament on the face of the planet. RWS, Rajadam Nern World Series has gathered some of the best Muay Thai fighters from all corners of the globe to identify the best strikers on the planet. RWS Rajadam Nern World Series invites eight fighters from each weight class and places them into two groups of four. The top two finishers of each group will advance to the knockout round in order to earn a chance at three million baht. The RWS Rajadam Nern World Series belt and to forever etch their names into greatness. Yeah, and of course tonight we're about to find out who's gonna make it to the final. The 154 pounds tournament. Aaron, this is probably some of the best fighters in the world. Everybody's gonna get to see them fight tonight. Yeah, we call them the four horsemen of the super welterweight category. We've got, like Antoine said, four of the best pound for pound, 154 pounders in the world competing here tonight in the tournament. Two of those fighters will go through to compete for three million baht. The other two fighters will be out of this year's competition. Yeah, and of course we have many, many other fights. So let's have a look at the fight card and who will be fighting tonight. In the first fight, we have Pikun Tong Sabri Da from Thailand taking on Sen Ngam Luk Muang Pet Kam Nan Chet Muang Chon from Thailand. In the second bout of the evening, we have Pet Waranit from Thailand taking on Guo Yukun from China. And then in our third bout, we have Saya Ito from Japan taking on Monkut Pet Kiet Kasen Gao Lak Muay Thai from Thailand. Yeah, and in the fourth bout, of course, we have the fighter from Japan, Issei Wa Wan Chai. Tonight, he will be taking on Tete So Kai Kia or Pimon Si. And in the fifth bout of the evening, probably one of the best pound for pound fighter in the world, Nadaka Wa Wan Chai. Or Nadaka Ewa Sport Gym, my apologies. Tonight, he will be facing the really powerful Suin Chai, Madame Chala. And next up, we have Shadow Sing Ma Win. Unfortunately, he couldn't be in the final four, but he's here tonight competing against Shokruz. Artikov Venom Muay Thai from Uzbekistan. And then it is final four time. Pet Morakot, War Sangprapai, Pet Yindi Academy taking on Tanon Chai, Sit Song Pinong. And of course, in the second part of the semi final, the prodigy Daniel Rodriguez, the undefeated. And tonight, he will be taking on Yodbisha, Yodbisha Gil looking for revenge and of course the main event of the evening the living legend everybody's waiting for Buakao Banchame tonight he will be taking on another legend from the K1 era Yasuhiro Kido like I said Aaron what a fight card tonight yeah absolutely incredible not only have we got the final four but of course Buakao is in attendance as well Nine fights of amazing Muay Thai coming your way live on the zone. Thank you for joining us. Shall we get the party started? Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Thailand, Pikutong Saprida, and her opponent coming out of Thailand as well. Please welcome Sen Ngam Lek Mueang Chon Yim Kam Nan Chet Mueang Chon. And here comes the very first fighter of the night, making her way to the ring. Here in front of a 
full house at Rajaranand Stadium. A lot of pressure for this fighter. This is Pikut Thong Saprida. And here comes her opponent, Senyam Lukmuan Pet, Gamnan Chet Muan Chon, also from Thailand. We've seen this fighter before here on RWS. And I've got to say, she's one of the best in her weight division. It's going to be an interesting fight here for Sen Yam. She's got a lot riding on this. She's on an upward, upward trajectory and she doesn't want to lose it against Pick Up Tong. Let's see how she copes. Welcome Sen Yam to RWS. Right, there you can see the tail of the tape for these two fighters. Pikon Tong from Thailand is just 21 years of age and stands at 160 centimeters. She weighed in yesterday at 114 pounds and has a reach of 163 centimeters. She was born in Bangkok, Thailand and has a professional record of 17 victories with 10 losses and one draw. And there you can see here in the blue corner we have Senyam Lukmuang Pet Gamnan Chet Muang Chon. Also from Thailand, she is 19 years of age, so two years younger than Pik Un Tong. She stands at 156 centimeters and weighed in yesterday one pound under 113 pounds and has a reach of 157 centimeters. She is also from Bangkok, Thailand, right here and has a professional record of 51 victories with just 13 losses. A lot more experience for the 19 year old as opposed to Pikung Tong at 21. Now, if you're new to watching Muay Thai, this is the Y crew and it's done before every traditional Muay Thai bout and we keep that tradition live here at RWS. The ladies there putting their own stamp on the performance, which is slightly different from the males. And like I said, it's done before every traditional bow in honor of the fighters masters and their trainers and of course to show respect to the gym or camp they fight out of and represent and that's a massive thing here in thailand you are part of the gym so you live there you sleep there and you represent all right antoine what a, a night of fights we've got here yeah, crowd still piling in we're expecting possibly a potentially a record attendance here tonight at RWS. Oh, absolutely. The, I, I think the, 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 the staff already told us that the stadium was completely sold out. And this is only just the beginning of the night, the very first prelim fight. And we can see already probably 60 or 70 percent of the of the arena is already filled up. So this is going to be a great event of fights. That's for sure. Yeah, and absolutely. And you remember you told me that it was actually the VIP section of all places that sold out first. And it just goes to show the renovations that the, the new owners here of Rajada Burn have made. It is now the best Muay Thai stadium in the world. No doubt about that. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I like where, where this is going. I like how the Rajada Burn is heading. Um, they want to make this place like you would think about some NBA fights in America or, or no, you were football telling me, fights. You would tell me, right, I'm from France, people go to the Eiffel Tower. Right? Exactly. People who are now in Bangkok, they have to come to Absolutely. Rajadamnon Stadium. Absolutely. This, this is one of the places to be if you've been in Thailand. If you're in Thailand just for a few days, you have to stop by Rajadamnon Stadium and watch some of the fights. And of course, here are WS, the best fighters in the world competing tonight. Absolutely. And they have fights every night, but RWS every Saturday evening. All right, here we go. First bout of nine scheduled bouts this evening on this very special Legend of Rajadam Nern event here at RWS. In the red corner, Pik Ung Tong Sabri Da. And in the blue corner, Sen Yam Lek Muon Pet Gam Nan Chet Muon Chon. Sonica! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beard, the voice of Rajinamdan, and welcome to AWS Legend of Rajinamdan, Buka Banchame versus Kido, and featuring AWS Final Four of the Super Welterweight Division. 
We are live from the world first Muay Thai Stadium, Russia the Stadium, the Bud Plaza of Muay Thai. Watching live to over 200 countries around the world on the zone and watching live in Thailand on World Point TV Channel 23. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start the first round of the evening. Are you ready? This is Muay Thai. This is Russian Amber. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Rapin Soblik. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, Fighting! I want the red corner, 21 Jezebel. She stands 160 centimeters tall and put in with it and 14 pounds. She or record of 17 wins, 10 losses and one draw. Representing Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pikun Tong, Sabrina! And open fighting! 19 years of age. She stands 156 centimeters tall and weighed in 113 pounds. She holds a record of 51 wins and 30 losses. Representing Bangkok Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Sangam, Lek Mung Pajim, Kam Nan Chat, Mung Chat. All right, here we go. First bout of the evening. And we have the females here at RWS. Nick Ong Hong and Sen Yam. First bout of nine. And of course, female fights here in RWS are going to be two minutes each round. And of course, the open scoring every end of the round, you'll get to know who won the previous round. Right away, into the clinch. Yeah, Sen Yam started well here. She's already fought on and won at here at RWS, so she's got that experience over her opponent. She defeated Ai Tanaka and also Zydania looks like Gongdin here at RWS in recent times. You can see Pika Tong right away pushing forward, pushing Senyam into the ropes, looking to find her position in the clinch. No actions yet, the ref is gonna take him back to the middle of the ring. Oh, beautiful one-two from Senyam. Yeah, sent knees to the midsection, then an elbow coming in. Almost clipped her with that one. It's a good start from Pikung Tong. Oh, oh, good right hand though, just as I say that by Sen Yan. So far, pretty close round. Good right hand from Sen Yan. Again, Pikung Tong. Oh, and she eats the kick. Stunning right high kick there from Sen Yan. But he just bounced off the head of Pikung Tong. Again, both. And again with that right high kick. But not enough strength or power behind it to trouble Pick Hung Tong, but of course it's going to score with the judges. Ooh. Good one two combination, then a left kick to the body, but a good right elbow in the reply by Pick Hung Tong. Yeah, you can really see Pick Hung Tong trying to change her rhythm, maybe find something new because the clinch is clearly not really working oh. the way she expected. Beautiful one two combination from Sen Nam. Oh, and a push kick there. Yeah, Pick Hung Tong is driving forward, but she keeps walking into that right hand of Sen Yam. Got to be careful about that as Pick Hung Tong again looks for that elbow strike. Tented right kick and a miss there by Sen Yam. Oh, both fights looking for elbows in the corner. Neither connecting that time. Final stages of round one. Another good right high kick to end the round. Good solid round there for both fighters. But Sen Yam. Looking more in control of the very aggressive Pikung Tong. Yeah, absolutely. She had the, the rhythm with her on the outside. But of course, Pikung Tong came out really strong, trying to get close and use the clinch. Let's have a look at the replay here. Oh, look at that kick. Yeah, Sen Yan was looking for that right high kick and she found it on a couple of occasions. Example one right there. Good stepping knee there from Sen Yan. And there we can see the aggressiveness of Pikung Tong, but she walks into right hands. And it was countless right hands that she did walk into. Beautiful right high kick there from <laughs> Sen Yang. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges. Score red by Blue Ted. Has established new rules 
for everyone to be able to compete here. That's right, and not only do we let females, of course, there's the female tournament as well, the final coming up for that one. Naupajan versus Somratsumi. Round two! Right away, here you can see on the scoreboard, again, Sengam ahead. Same again here by Pikong Tong, moving forward. But is she moving forward into a counter blow by Senyam? Let's find out. Good round there from Senyam in the opening round. Picking Tong, like I said, was the aggressor, but Senyam, she struggles. The first one, 23 oh. seconds, but then she got those hands moving, especially those high kicks. Oh, Senyam in complete control here, defending the clinch pretty good, pretty well. Pick it Tong. Is she going to go back to the same game plan? I think so. Oh, oh. oh and out she goes! What a high kick! Stunning right high kick there from Senyam. We saw it twice in the opening round, but with not as much power. And believe me, Pikun Tong also fatigued as well. Took that one. I thought she was down and out the way her eyes rolled into the back of her head. Oh, absolutely. How oh. is she still standing? And we've said it before, expect everything and anything here in RWS. Senyam now going after Pikung Tong to finish the job. Pikung Tong, she's looking for that right high kick once again. Here come those with cheek on hand. Looking for the elbow strike. Pikung Tong's just got a hold on now for dear life with just over 30 seconds left on the clock in round number two. Good low kick there from Senyam. And again, she's looking for that right high kick. She's looking for that knockout blow. Yeah, absolutely, Pikung Tong. Slowing down momentarily, of course, after that knockdown. I wonder how is she still even standing? Of course, in RWS rules as well, this will be a 10 8 round. Another right hand there from Senyam. Looking for that left knee, but you know, as soon as that distance is opened up, she's going to look for that high kick. Good right hand there from Senyam once again to Pikong Tong, who's looking a little bit dejected now. Wow, wow. what a round for Senyam once again. What a round and what a kick out of nowhere. Stunning. That right high kick to the head, the difference maker in that round. Dikong Tong, like we said, moving forward. But she was walking straight into the counter strikes of Xianyam. She gave her two warning shots in the opening round, but in the third. And here. Here it oh. is. Oh. Perfect timing, perfect execution. Yeah, absolutely. She gave it a try in the first round. Didn't work out, but this one, Let's wow. Let's have a look in slow-mo. Bang! Oh. Right on the button. Oh. Pikun Tong so, did so well to get on her feet. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red eight, blue 10. And for the total score, all three judges score red 17, blue 20. A coach is telling her to go in with elbows. I'm, I feel like she's going to throw that out the window and go for that high kick again. And again, like you mentioned, she's still really, really young at only 19 years old. And look at the confidence that she has. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Third and final round of our very first bout here on this week's RWS Legend of Raja Damnern. Buakau, of course, in our main event here tonight we also have the super welterweight final four which me and Antoine and a lot of Muay Thai fans cannot wait to see oh yeah, look, looks like it was a low blow intentionally pretty good tongue she looks like she's recovered trying to push forward now but oh right away Sanyam imposing her style and the power the strength yeah all about running down the clock now for Sanyam if she doesn't want to go for that knockout bonus <laughs> then she can uh, just run down the clock and do exactly what she's doing right now. Teeps away from her. She's again looking oh. for that right high kick almost. Pikun Tong just walked past it, walked through it. And yeah, that was all agility from Senyan. Pikun Tong pushing forward, walking into those push kicks. Again, just grabbing a hold of her, running down that clock. And it's jabs and teeps now from Senyan. Doesn't have to do anything flashy. The fight is in the bag. You can see Pikung Tong. She's attempted to throw elbows, but she's so far away from yeah. Senyam. Yeah, and she is trying, though. You've got to give it to her. Very After true. eating that kick oh, in the second round. Absolutely, Antoine. <laughs> I actually thought that was it. Yeah. Oh, the way that she landed, the way that the kick connected, but 
you got to give credit to her for being able to get back onto her feet and yeah, trying absolutely. to end that, this fight. And that's more than often the pride talking yeah. more than anything else, wanting, not wanting to give up and, and keep going forward. Big thing in Muay Thai, of course, is showing the gym and the fans that you've got heart. They love to see that, and that's exactly what Pikung Tong is showing right now by getting back up on her feet in that second round and trying to finish the fight. And she's still pushing forward, of course, as well. Yeah, but she is, but she's walking into more shots by Senyam, yes. being honest with ourselves. Senyam controlling the fight really well right now, circling around, defending herself really well, and this is it. The end of the third and final round. Yeah, we will go to the judges' scorecards, of course, for a decision, but due to open scoring, of course, the knockdown, we already know that Senyam is going to take this one. Nice fight to get us underway here on this week's very special RWS2. Very good female fighters going at it and showing all the facets of Muay Thai. We did see knees and elbows and punches and of course we saw how violent and kicks can be by Senyam. Let's have a look at the highlights of the fight. There's the right hands and there. Oh, look at that. Kick. So that was stunning. nasty. How did she even get up from that? I guess it was more of a, a foot shot than a, than a shin shot. It could have been lights out, but it, oh. it did collect, connect at the perfect place. Oh, no, I was wrong. That was perfect. Yeah, that was <laughs> a perfect shot there. Sanyam again making a statement here on RWS. Highly impressive. Oh, what a shot. Shot of the evening so far. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action. We go to the judges scorecard. All three judges score this vote 30 to 26. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Blue perfect way to start up the night and if there was any doubt that female has no power well here is your answer unbelievable pikun tong did her absolute best to try and move forward and take it to senyan but that beautifully timed second round high kick just showing the, the, all the attributes you need to be a muay thai fighter to crack congratulations to sen yam amazing yeah absolutely and now we're moving up to 140 pounds which is going to be a lot more power so ladies and gentlemen please welcome our fighters from thailand pet what on it and his opponent coming out of china please welcome guo you cool And here comes your very first male fighter of the night, making his entrance here in Ratchatamnan Stadium. Looking to prove the world here in front of this audience that he belongs among the best. This is Pet Boranit. And coming to the ring, his opponent all the way from China, Hui Yu Kun. There's quite a few Chinese fighters compete here on RWS with varying success. Usually Chinese fighters have very good kickboxing acumen, but can they compete at the highest level in Muay Thai? Let's see what Hua Yu Kun can do here at RWS. Cut the pores coming powder blow. Hit the top, we don't need the road fools. No, we made the rules. I'm with the club, posted by the marina. Eating fruits, looking at views that you never could dream of. Getting served all this paper. I'm not talking subpoena. Gotta flow like a river, but you won't find one that's cleaner. All right, they can see the tail of the tape for this one. Your second bout of the evening here at RWS. In the record from Thailand, we have Pet Waranit fighting out of Sitmonjai Jim from Thailand. He is 24 years of age and stands at 176 centimeters. 
He weighed him yesterday at 140.5 pounds and has a reach of 180 centimeters. He is from Ratchaburi here in Thailand and has a professional record of 47 victories with 30 losses and 10 draws. And in the blue corner, Guo Yu Kun from China, just 19 years of age. He is from Hebei in China and stands at 176 centimeters, so both about the same height. On there you can see the weekly bonuses performance of the night. One fighter will be walking away with 100,000 baht and one fighter could potentially be walking away with 100,000 baht if they knock out their opponent and then it is deemed to be a worthy knockout by the RWS bosses, by the management. If it is not, then next week it will roll over to 200,000 baht. So, Goit Yukon actually only has a record of eight victories with two losses, so just 10 fights to his name. China taking on Thailand. Not for the first time here at RWS. I remember the last time we had a lot of Chinese fans in, and unfortunately, I think that he's, I think the fighter actually got knocked out in the second round, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Do you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting for yeah. the Chinese fans here in Rashomon Stadium to see how is their fighter going to perform tonight. Yeah, and of course, Bangkok relatively close to China. We do get a lot of Chinese tourists. And of course, they come and visit Rajdam Nun Stadium. And if you are in Bangkok, Thailand, you should, of course, come and check out Rajdam Nun Stadium. If you cannot, we're happy to bring you the broadcast live on the zone to 200 plus countries and territories every week from the most amazing Muay Thai stadium in the world, Rajdam Nun Stadium. Yeah, but of course, except from, apart from China, tonight has got to be a Japan versus Thailand as we have four fighters, four Japanese fighters who will be facing Thai fighters tonight. So this oh, is going to be tell you what, a lot a, of pride. A good question for you, okay? So we've got Sai Ito taking on Mon Kompet, Issei against JJ, yeah. Nadaka versus Sula Shea. Is that right, Sula Shea? And yeah. then we've got Buakao against Kido. How many of the Japanese team do you think are going <laughs> to win? I'm uh, putting you on the spot, yeah, bro. You are. <laughs> um, to be honest, I, th I think it's going to be a 50-50. Ah, I'm gonna okay. Give it, I'm going to give it a 2-2. and two. All right. How I, are you? I I'm, looking at, I'm looking down <laughs> the card now. I think it's very... I actually think that it could be 3-1. 3-4. In, in, in favor of the team Japanese. Oh, team wow. Japan. Well, that could, that could definitely happen. So this is going to be very interesting. Again, like we said earlier, very interesting fight night tonight as the fight card is just stacked of great fighters. Yeah, and like Anton was and I were saying on the uh, on the camera there, what a great way to start the event there. Two females going after it and Senyam with that beautiful knockdown. <laughs> and here you can see the cameraman falling in love with <laughs> one of the lady in the crowd here. Beautiful waifu here from Pet. Yeah, fighting out of Sipmon Chai Gym. If you're familiar with Sipmon Chai, you know they're, they're known for their hands and their low kicks. Yeah, Very absolutely. aggressive style of fighter they produce within that gym. Of course, Yon Kun Pon, before he trained at his own gym, used to train there. Remember, a fighter who was in the final four, unfortunately, went out of the tournament last week at the hands of Hercules. So let's see what Pet Warren it can do here. Yeah, this is this is interesting. You, you mentioned uh, Sit Monchai because back in the days, it was one of the only gym where they would train fighters to just punch and low kicks, use hands, use elbows and low kicks, in which most gyms in Thailand would be with a lot of, uh, uh, focused on yeah. clinch more than anything else. So. It's not many gyms where you can say they have their own individual style. Oh, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Most gyms take a fighter and then they, they try and enhance what that fighter has. All right, here we go. Second bout of the evening, Thailand versus China. In the red corner, Pet Waranit. And in the blue corner, from China, Guoi Yu Kun. We're going to take it over to our MC, wearing a lovely flowery red jacket and a black bow tie, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start the second bout of the evening. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian of them. In the losing of referee on stage, Mr. Brin Han Tanabun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the first 
fighting and with the red corner, 24 years of age. He's turned 176 centimeters tall and batted 140.5 pounds. He will record of 47 wins, 30 losses, and 10 draw. Representing Raiburi Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pat Wara winning. And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 19 years of age. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighted 138.7 pounds. He will record of 8 win and 2 losses representing China. Let's hear it for Goa Yu Khun. Alright, here we go. Three, three minute rounds. Second bout, the second prelim of this week's Legend of Rajadam Nun RWS. Here we go, moving up to 140 pounds for this fight. Again, like we said, Patch coming out of Sigmund Chai and something a little bit fancy coming from the Chinese fighter just now. Some unknown move out of China. Ooh, the low kick after that right away. Now you can see the low kicks that me and Antoine mentioned. That Sip Monchai style, Sip Monchai style, sorry. Coming into fruition. We have seen Pet here at RWS before. He fought an Argentinian, by the way, of um, Nicholas Silk Muay Thai. And they went to war with each other. And Pet actually was able to knock him down in the third round and take that fight. But it was a really good fight. Oh, again with that left high kick. Beautiful right time away. there from Pet. Yeah, and you can see fighters tonight hungry for the knockout bonus. Oh, oh, and the low kick right away. Absolutely. Right kick to the midsection and right high. Oh, and again, he's going back down low. Is Pet. Good hands there from Goy. Well, of course, looks like he gives away a little bit of height, but a lot of experience as well. Oh, and again, the low kick. I mean, Aaron, you've said it before, uh, coming out of Sidmonchai, this is exactly what you could expect from Patch. Hands and power from the low kicks. Oh. But look at the Chinese fighter. Not taking those punches without an answer. Yeah, I think Goy, like I said, Chinese fighters have a lot of good kickboxing skills and he threw a beautifully timed left hand there that Patch just walked into. So he's got to be careful of that. Going back to those low kicks, not a bad tactic. Yeah, if he can take away a man's base, he can definitely take away that punching power of his as well. This is one of those fights where they might be walking slowly and looking like snakes. Oh! But out of sudden, something crazy like this happens. And they might be knocked out. Looks like it's going to be a night of high kicks hit. Good body shot there, ripping from Pet. Oof. I think we're all waiting for that left high kick once again. It was actually blocked, though, by Gwei, but it was the sheer power that knocked him down. Even though he did block it, good left hand there. A nice straight from Pet. And you can Going see back to the midsection. You can see the confidence in the yes. face of Patch. Oh, but eating this right kick is not going to do him good. I think even when Goy blocks, it's still hurting him as well. Good outside thigh kick. Good kick to the body there. Goy's nose is starting to bleed. There's blood flowing from the nose. Uh, he's being very active, but his timing seems to be a little bit off from time to time. Here, taking a low kick. Yeah, again, going back to the right... Oh, one, two, right away. Pets going for the finish. Is that it? Can he survive? Looking at the ref momentarily, and here goes the war. Exchanges of fury of punches. Oh, and the elbow. Pets going for the kill. Oh, oh something is wrong with him. Perhaps his nose. And he's out. He's out. This is it. The ref calls it. Stunning victory by Pet Warrenit. You can see that Goy was in trouble, and he did exactly what he needed to do. He went in for the kill. I may have even broken his nose. Yeah, I think his nose broke. Yeah, he's got a broken nose, that's for sure. And I think he wanted no more. He turned his back to Pat momentarily, seeking for help from the ref. Yeah, and absolutely. And the referee did exactly the right thing. Once your opponent starts to turn his back from him and cover up and not fight back, it's time to call it. And that he did. And you can see as he's walking back to his corner, the eyes have gone. Big thumbs up there for Pat Warren it. Yeah, absolutely. Great decision from the ref. Let's have a look at the replay here. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, oh. he had his 
Hands up. He wanted no more, and right away the ref came in between. He actually might have put his hand up to say that it, I want this to be all over. Yeah, he I might think, have even called yeah, it himself. I think that what it, that's what it was. Perhaps some issue with his eye or nose. I'm not sure. Oh, that was the nose, I think. Look at that. One, two, three. But he did exactly what he needed to do. Even if your opponent is turning your back, you're going for the kill until it's time not to. Great performance from Fetz. Ladies and gentlemen, of the two minute and 56 seconds of the first round, we have a winner by way of technical knockout, Red Corner! And for a winner! Back to RWS and tonight, great fights. And Aaron, I want to say great drinking, but I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but tonight it feels like we have shy drinkers. You're saying that in front yeah, of everyone? I, I mean, I'm Ooh. sorry, I don't want to put the crowd against me, but they seem pretty shy tonight. Are you saying they could do better? Absolutely. Well, <laughs> we'll find out on the next break. But anyways, what a great second fight, this knockout. Again, it just shows the level here in Ratchet Stadium, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Petch, that punching power of his just too much for the Chinese fighter. And as soon as he smelled blood, he went in for the kill and he got the stoppage victory that he deserved. All right, so now let's welcome the third fight. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Japan, Saya Ito. And the opponent from Thailand, please welcome Mongkut Pet Get Kasem Kaolak Muay Thai. And here comes the very first Japanese fighter of the night, making her way to the ring. Expect fire from this fight and we've seen the kicking power those fighters have from the very first fight on so expect nothing less from this fight this is Saya Ito and her opponent from Thailand Mon Kut Pet Kasem Gao Lak Moi Thai coming to the ring Enjoying yourself as the hometown hero, but honestly, there might be as many Thai people as there are Japanese people here tonight supporting Team Japan and of course Yashahiro Kido who will be fighting here later tonight. But in the meantime, let's welcome Mongkut Pet, Yakasem, Gaulak, Muay Thai. They can see the tail of the tape. Your third bout of the evening. And our first Japanese fighter has taken to the ring. And there she is in the red corner. Saya Ito from Japan. Just 24 years of age. Stands at 154 centimeters and weighed in yesterday 101.4 pounds. She has a reach of 148 centimeters. She was born in Tokyo in Japan and has a professional record of 40 victories, 10 losses, and three draws. She is a former WMC mini flightweight champion, a three-time WPMF champion, and also a WBC Muay Thai champion. And there's a reminder of the weekly bonuses. Perhaps that knockout bonus might have gone now. If the uh, RWS management feel it fit, they could give Petch 100,000 baht and also potentially that 100,000 baht bonus money as well. Let's not forget that last week Ritiwada claimed both. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But a stunning knockout. We'll get to see that a little bit later on tonight. But yeah, that's a great point. And if Pep actually gets these two bonus bonuses <laughs> together, that would be great. And again, that's just the opportunity you have if you are 
on our WS fight card. It doesn't matter if you're part of the prelim fights or part of the main card, you still get a chance to get those bonuses. That's right. And in the blue corner, we have Mongkut Pet from Thailand. She is 18 years of age. She stands at 160 centimeters, so she has a six centimeter height advantage over Saya Ito. She weighed in yesterday at 101.7 pounds and has a reach of 160 centimeters. So her reach is 12 centimeters longer than Sai Ito, perhaps an advantage there. She is from Patalung here in Thailand and has a professional record of 31 victories with 10 losses. She's actually fought at RWS before and she's currently 1 and 0. Oh. She's been on the Thai national team many a time and it's a multiple time if my medalist and that is the amateur ranks of Moy Thai. Has she performed in front of this many people before? I'd like a revert back to Sen Yam in our first bout. I would suggest not. Packed house here at Raja. There is one of the most beautiful sights in Moy Thai. Another beautiful sight as well is Saya Ito's white crew here. There is a lot of Japanese fans in attendance. Not only do we have Sai Ito, we have Issei coming up next after him. We have one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world in Nadaka. And then finally in your main event, we have Yasuhiro Skido. Oh! Connected, it only took one. I like the confidence. All right. Third bout of the evening, and it is 102 pound female fight between in the red corner Saya Ito from Japan, and in the blue corner Monkut Pet Kiet Kasam Kaolak Moi Thai. And returning to the ring, the best dressed man in Bangkok, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third bout of the evening. This is Muay Thai. This is Rachel Dunn. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Brisha Sawikan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 24 years of age. She stands 154 centimeters tall and weighted 101.4 pounds. She will record of 40 wins, 10 losses and 3 draw. She is the BBC Muay Thai Champion and 3 times the BPMF Champion and the BMC Mini Flyweight Champion fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. Let's hear it for Saya Ito. Opponent fighting about the blue corner, 18 years of age. This stand when it adds 16 centimeters tall and went in and it had 1.7 pounds. She hold a record of 31 wins and 10 losses. She is a multiple time if more medalist representing Patalung Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Mongkut Pat Kiat Kasem Kaulak Boy Thai Chen. Right, here we go, the third bout of the evening, and it's the debut of Sai Ito here in RWS. Multi-time world champion taking on Mon Kun Ped, who currently has a 1 0. Here we go. Big Japanese crowd here tonight in really? the Stadium. Very impressive. They do support their fight as well, of course. Big fighting nation. Yeah, like you said, big, big fighting nation. We know what they're capable of. And of course, tonight, you have Nadaka, one of the best pound for pound fighter. Oh! Yeah, yeah honestly, when I saw that Nadaka was fighting tonight, I think it excited me as much as the other fights on the card. Oh, absolutely. The way that he performed last time here was incredible. Yeah, that's the, the, the perfect fighter to say, if you know, you know. Yes. <laughs> right, low kick there coming in from Monkut Pet. See, Monkut Pet does have a longer reach than Ito, which is. She's using it to our advantage here in this opening round. Swinging right kick to the body attempted there. Yeah, and Monkun Pet pretty active so far. Good block there. 
see that Ito, she's having a bit of trouble there, trying to understand the length of Moncud Pet. Both fighters bouncing on the balls of their feet, very fast, <laughs> both throwing good kicks to the body there. Moncud Pet able to get two in. Getting the better of that exchange, Moncud Pet, like you said, the range is in her favor right now. Sayato needs to find her own range, her own rhythm, use her footwork a little bit more. Right kick, attempt, blocked by Moncud Pet. Yeah, then she moves forward, but good defensive work there by Saya Ito. Then back to the center of the Rajadam Nun Stadium ring. People still filing in right now. Ooh. Oh, good combination there from Moncud Pet. I'm also impressed with the way she's able to move out of the way. She can fight on the back foot as well as the front. Into the clinch, they go. Nothing doing there for either fighter. Very technical fight so far in this opening round. Yeah, you're right. Okay. End of round number one. Of course, it's two minutes for the ladies, three minutes for the men. This is actually the final female bout of the evening here tonight. Two on the card. RDS also always tries to make sure there's at least one. Giving opportunities to female fighters to compete in this, on this massive stage. And of course, going out to you, the fans, watching around the world live on The Zone. There you can see that right low kick coming in by Saya Ito. Moncud Pet delivering a good right kick to the body of her own. That's basically the story of the opening round was those kicks to the bodies, or at least attempts to the body. A relatively close round, not an easy one to score for the judges, but of course, we will find out which way they went. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red line, blue 10. I like you say, you've got to get close enough to throw that right hand. Not easy against someone as tall as Moncud Pet. Well, let's see if she can do it. She's got to do something different. Again, this is two top level athletes there. Good exchanges there. Moncud Pet getting the better out of the two yeah, again. Again, absolutely, Antoine. Just like you said, Say Ito throws one where Moncud is able to throw and land two. Better yeah, there again. from Ito. But again, she does get another body kick. Absolutely, and this is just her being really confident on her feet. Her balance is phenomenal here. You can see she can block, she can move around the footwork from the mm. TIE fighter. Again, she's oh, oh right here we go! From Moncut Pet. Might have been the first punch that landed in this fight. And what a punch that was. Again, like I was saying, her footwork, she's not moving around so much, but this is the difference here. You can see switching stance momentarily. Well, I've been impressed with the Moncut Pet as well, that she's, she's throwing both legs. She's not just one trick. She's throwing left and right. She's even switching standards as well, mm. so she can target the inside thigh there of it all. And there combine a right kick and a right hand. Very impressive here from yeah. Moncud Pet. Yeah, and you can see making it very hard for Saya Ito to find her distance here. She is trying, she is trying to get close. As soon as she walks in, then Moncud Pet starts throwing a kick of her own. And when she actually tries to throw her own, then Moncud Pet is defending it really well. So right oh, now, really tough. Yeah. Once again, beautiful left kick to the body there. Attempted right hand from Moncud Pet. You can see what Ito is trying to do. She is trying to close that distance like a coach was recommending, but it's so difficult against the legs of Moncud Pet. So educated with the left and the right. See, she'll miss the left, straight back to stance. Able to move back into position, but not that time. Good right kick to the body there by Ito. That was much better. Good teep there from Moncud Pet. I think at this weight and her height, she would be a problem for anyone. Oh, of course. Ito being the aggressor. Again, moving back, but not moving quick enough to throw a counter strike that connects to Moncud Pet. Another close round here on RWS. Moncud Pet probably did throw the uh, shot of the round with that right hand that snapped the head back off of Saya Ito, but apart from that, Ito being the aggressor and connecting with body kicks to the midsection might have nicked it. You just never know. All right, let's have a look at the highlights from that second round. Kicks. <laughs> More kicks to the midsection. Here's that right hand. Oh. Mistake the there from Ito. Uh, Monk up there. Beautiful. Just so beautiful how she's able to use that range. You see, tall fighters a lot here on RWF and they don't know how to use it as well. As we're seeing here from Mon Cut Pet. There's that right hand again. Oh, perfectly connecting. Yeah, 
Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red by blue tail. And for the total score, all three judges score red 18, blue 20. Muay <laughs> Thai. Yeah, and it's great you mentioned this, actually. I'm laughing, but it's great to see, actually, female fans here in Muay Thai, watching Muay Thai here in Ratchamland Stadium because a few months ago, a few years ago, it used to be very different. And yeah. now, new crowds, new era, like you said in the beginning, for Muay Thai. We always seem to see a lot of female fans when Muay Thai is fighting. I don't know why that is, but... Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, low kick. Right away. Ito doing what she needs to do, trying to attack. She's, remember, she's got to knock down Mon Kut Pet to try and claim that draw or knock her out to get the victory. I like what Mon Kumpet is doing. She's pretty much doing what they teach you in the basics. You can block, you block. If you miss the block, then you throw something back. And this is exactly what she's doing. And you can see Ito trying to push forward. Like Aaron said, she needs to drop Mon Kumpet down if she wants to at least get a chance to draw the fight. Oh, oh. good left kick to the mid section again. Ito walking in, but she has to walk forward, try and do this, but again, She's eating counter strikes. Oh, oh, that was better by Ito. Right hand there from Monkut Pet trying to get her away. Here in the clinch, she'll be looking to waste time. A minute left here in this fight. Ito doing exactly what she needs to do. Pushing forward and trying to make it at least uncomfortable for Monkut Pet. Ah, but Monkut Pet again. Very good at just what? 18 years of age, a veteran move there, just grabbing oh. a hold of her. What a step in knee that that was by Mankut Pet. Oh, oh. And another good right hand. Fighting defensively and fighting very well. Oh, the right oh. kick to the, sorry, right knee to the midsection there from Mankut Pet. As Saito moved in with a spinning technique. Yeah, you've called it great. Display of defense and counter shots here from the Thai fighter. She's looking so comfortable in there. Very impressed. Again, all these techniques is just keeping Sai Ito away from her and running down the clock at the same time. And Ito just can't get close enough. Really frustrating night here for the Japanese fighter. Jumping knee to end the fight here on RWS. What a great victory that will go down as for Mon Kun Pet. Everything she did was with precision, good timing. And like Antoine said, beautiful defensive work as well. Highly impressive. Very, very impressive performance from Monk and Pep. I'm sure we will hear about her a lot more. Yeah, hope to see her again here on RDBS. Let's have a look at the highlights from that third round. It was a beautiful, two beautiful right hands. In fact, there was Ito moved in. But Monk and Pep just has that ability to grab a hold and throw that right knee to the midsection. Yeah, the timing, again, like we said. Almost perfect every shot, barely miss missing any shot. Monk and Pet tonight. Look at this right hand. Let's get confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this vote. 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Blue Water from the Pet Dillon Paula Boy back to RWS and another great performance from both fighters. And let's just say, let's just keep the action going. Let's bring out the fighters. Do it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Japan, Issei Wa Wan Chai and his opponent from Thailand. Please welcome JJ Sokaika or Pimonsi. And here comes the second Japanese fighter of the night. Walking out as a superstar here in Ratchadaman Stadium. He's got the crowd with him as much 
as his opponent will tonight. A lot of Japanese fans. Here is Issei Wong. One shot. And coming to the ring, his opponent from Thailand. JJ. So, Gaikia or Pimon Sri. Very technical fighter making his debut here on RWS. Unlike Issei, who has actually fought here and won here and knocked out his opponent here. We have a Thai knockout machine against the Japanese knockout machine on this week's RWS. Welcome! JJ. All right, let's have a look at the tail of the tape for this one. Fourth bout of the evening in the red corner from Japan. Issei War Wan Chai. 25 years of age, stands at 165 centimeters, and he weighed in on the money 116 pounds. He has a reach of 163.5 centimeters. And he is from Fukuoka in Japan. He has a professional record of 41, five, 41 victories, apologies, 13 losses and three draws. Former K1 Bantamweight World Grand Prix runner-up and also a former True For You Muay Thai champion, one of the promotions here in Thailand. A two-time WPMF Muay Thai World Champion. And also, let's not forget, let's forget sorry, that he fought here on RWS previously and was able to knock out his opponent, Ektawan, with a beautifully timed left hook to the body. In the blue corner, making his debut here tonight. And they can see the fans of Japan supporting their fighter, supporting Issei. And you can see Issei sporting a beautiful monk on a lot of amulets around his neck, embracing Muay Thai and Thai culture. In the blue corner, JJ. So Gaikia or Pimon Tree from Thailand. He is 21 years of age, so four years younger than Issei. And stands at 166 centimeters, weighing yesterday 0.1 pound under the limit, 115.9 pounds. He stands at 167 centimeters, so slightly taller than Issei. He was born in Pitsanaluk here in Thailand and has a professional record of 35 victories with five losses and two draws. In his last four fights, he has three victories with two knockouts. And then we've got more Japanese fans here in the building yeah. at Rajdamnern yeah. Stadium. Yeah, that Enjoy. was Ryota. He's a TikToker, oh. very popular influencer with over a million followers on TikTok. See, so, hey, fans from everywhere here tonight at Rajdamnern Stadium. Packed house, of course when Buakau is around, a generational star. He's been at the top of his game for what, 20 plus years now. One of the biggest, if not the biggest star of, stars of all time in the sport of Muay Thai. I'm not sure there's many fighters who can pack a house like Buakau can and still have that pull at the age of 40 or 41 as he is now. Let me see more Japanese fans. Team Issei written on their shirts. So I guess they're very excited for this one. Tremendous victory against Ekta One in his last fight here at RWS. And he also, if I remember correctly, he fought on the same card as Nada. No, he didn't. But he did also did have a very good Y crew. So in his last 10 fights, eight victories, just one loss and one a draw. And he's had three fights in 2023 with two wins and two knockout victories. And his only draw came against Yod Zilla, who's one of the best power on fighters in Thailand. JJ, last 10 fights, he's got eight wins, five knockouts to his name, 
one draw and one loss. And that only loss was against Pangtor, who we saw here at RWS. Another really good, talented fighter fighting out of PK Sanchai. So these boys, they only fight the top talent in their weight category. As Issei makes his way over closer and closer to JJ. And of course, as we are running out of time, the longest Waikou of the night <laughs> by Issei the night. Uh, of course, the Japanese fighters love this. Yeah, this is great. I'm okay. sure Nadekar is going to do, do yeah. something similar also. Yeah, absolutely. But you can expect fire from both fighters, that's for sure. Here it goes. The second arrow missing. Here's the Japanese fans. Saya Ito needs to teach him some skills, man. <laughs> Only took her one. Oh, and what's coming? Oh. And he says, yes, it worked that time. JJ unfazed. All right, here we go. Fourth bout of the evening. Issei. Wawan Chai from Japan in the red corner. And JJ saw Gaikia or oh, Pimon Sri from Thailand in the blue corner. Not far now until the main card starts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth bout of AWS Legend of Russian Under. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian Under. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Boromir Tukni. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner, 35 years of age. His turn with an and 65 centimeters tall and veteran with an and 16 pounds. He will record 41 wins, 13 losses, and 3 draw. He is two time the new PMF Muay Thai champion and former Drew for You champion, fighting our Fukuoka Japan. Let's hear it for Isaac War One Chai. Fighting our blue corner, 21 years of age. His turn when it adds 66 centimeters tall and fighting when it adds 15.9 pounds. He already got off 35 wins, 5 losses, and 2 draw. He is a former Russian in the stadium, Bantam World Champion, representing Pitsanulo Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for JJ Sokaiki or Big Monsieur. All right, here we go. Round number one of a schedule three. Issei taking on JJ. There we go, you said it. You can expect fire from both fighters. They both have knockout power. They really do. Check out Issei's left up to the body. Oh, oh good right hand there from JJ. Remember also, packs a punch. Both these fighters have got knockout power. Oh, oh. tempted right hand there from JJ. Issei looking to counter. Good right kick there from the TIE fighter. Issei, a right smile. Looks like he's enjoying that. A very confident Japanese fighter there. He's been here in Russia many, many times already. He knows this arena well. Right hand, low kick from JJ. Issei in tremendous shape. That's yeah. to be said, as is JJ, to be fair. Attempted low kick and a miss there from Issei. Oh, that one connected though by JJ showing you how it's done. And let's not forget JJ is still really young at 21 years old. Very true. Ooh, oh, and the one two. right hand. Issei just able to duck under that time. Oh, and again. Yeah, he's targeted that left leg, that lead left leg. Inside kicks there by Issei. JJ looking to go up high. Yeah, good block from the Japanese fighter. Oh, oh, beautiful right hand there from JJ. 
Yeah, He's looking it. smooth right now, looking very calm as well. To go with a left high kick there. Oh, oh, three in a row. Beautiful. And, and a four. four. Right to the body. And a right kick that time to the midsection. Issei's body is getting battered right now. Oh, oh and here oh we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at like Spectacular. Absolutely, like he's doing some paddle work here on the Japanese fighter's arm. Issei, he do not want to keep taking those shots. Oh, and the sneaky elbow from JJ. Oh, swinging right overhand there by Issei. And a left hook attempted. Oh, and those kicks. One more time from JJ. The crowd is loving it. Oh, and oh, again. It's starting to take its toll, Antoine. Oh, good left hook there on an elbow oh. by Issei. Right kick to the midsection by JJ. Then attempts an elbow. He said it. This, oh, was, this was gonna be a war. This was gonna be fire. How much more can Issei's arm take those kicks? Good low kick there by Issei. He's also ripped that left hand to the body a couple of times. JJ's hands are down. I suspect he might have hurt JJ with one of them. But so far, it's got to be said, this round belongs to JJ. Blows flurry of kicks, just absolutely spectacular. Well, the game plan from JJ is break the arms. The game plan from Issei is break the face. <laughs> Good right kick to the body there again by JJ. Tempted right hand. Issei just oh. slips out of the way, but again, look, he's going for the body shot. Tempted elbow there from Issei. Oh! Oh! But it's Issei who eats an elbow. We've got a real war right now. Yeah, absolutely. But look at Issei. Oh. Always in the inside, not giving any space. And wow, what a fight. Superb action here on RWS. Yeah, look at the nose. Yeah, again, Issei not giving any space, even though he did take punishments on the forearms from the kicks of JJ. But towards the end of the round, I have to say him closing up the distance. What a fight, man. I'm already excited about seeing the highlights of seeing those kicks in the midsection. Absolutely. There we are. Oh. Look at it. Two, three, four, oh, five, again. six, seven, oh. eight. That Incredible. Was just punishment there. Oh, and the right hand from Issei. And the sneaky elbow from JJ. Yeah, look at that. See, Issei trying to block high. JJ going to the midsection. Yeah, again, super slow-mo. The start of a war here at RWS. Be sure to stay oh. with us, round number two, coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges are red by blue ten. He say now, he's got to really attack JJ. Yeah, he does, but again, we've seen towards the end of the round how dangerous is how dangerous is Issei? Definitely. Good low kick there. He's got power. Oh, it's actually elbow oh, oh, oh. missing there by JJ. And it's things like that. It can make a difference with a counter strike. It can play into the favor of Issei. So JJ is just gonna relax and do what he did in that opening round. He was working much better off the back foot, fighting those counter strikes against Issei. And, and I'm Issei. sure conditioning is going to play a part as well soon oh, if they continue yeah, to absolutely. like they are doing. I'd like to see Issei block those kicks a little bit more. He's doing really well when JJ is in the ropes, but in the middle section. Oh! oh! And down he goes! And down he goes! And down wow! he goes! It's all wow! over! It only takes one strike, and that's all it did take. His eyes are glazed over. It was one right hand. And JJ is now staring up at the Rajan Abnern lights, not knowing what hit him. Yeah, well, Issei hit him. That's all he needed. He took punishment in the first round. But look at that. 100,000 baht bonus. It's, yeah, He's it's up for grabs. And I think that Issei has just staked his claim. It is waiting for him, that's for sure. Wow, we've said that Issei's got the power. Oh. And he just proved it yeah, JJ once is again. Str struggling to get up here. They might need the stretcher, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we've got to have a look at that knockout once again. Let's see it. Look at the right Swing hand. Swinging left and then the oh. right. JJ's hands were down. And Double. he caught him twice, I think, on the way down as well. One, two. Yeah, that was a perfect double right hand from the Japanese fighter. Look oh. at that. And down he goes. And like you said, one on down the chin. he stayed. Yeah, and one oh. on the temple. Bang. One Perfect time shot. Slow -mo. 
that might have been enough, you know, but there, oh. for good measure, I think that second blow was the one that actually put him out. Yeah, absolutely. The first one put him down and the second one put him out. Yeah, there was no getting up from that second shot, that's for sure. Look at that. Oh, defenseless. JJ, down he goes. And maybe that third left hook. Ladies and gentlemen of the 43 second of the second round, we have a winner by way of Nugget Red Corner. Is it for one time? Back to RWS and see. Now I can say great fights and great dancing. Yeah, this crowd better at dancing than they are <laughs> drinking, I think. Well. Yeah, absolutely. Again, getting back to the fight, what a knockout that was. And that's ex exactly what we could expect from the Japanese fighters tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I think that makes it one and one for the Japanese team with two fighters still to come. And one of those Japanese fighters is next up and one that we can't wait to see. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for these two fighters from Japan, Naraka Ewa Sports Gym. And his opponent coming out of Laos, please welcome Suishai, Madame Shara. Here comes Naraka, one of the best Japanese fighter of this era, the champ champ, double Rajadamon Stadium champion. Here again tonight in Rajadamon Stadium. We've seen this fighter over and over again. We've seen how he can perform and to be honest, He's, he is running out of opponents. Tonight is definitely, definitely not gonna be a, an easy night for his opponent. This is Naraka Eva Sports Gym. And coming to the ring, his opponent, Sulachai Madram Chara from Lao. Now and again, you do get to see some good fighters from Lao, of course. Countries around Thailand also embrace the sport of Muay Thai. They actually don't call it Muay Thai, they call it Muay Lao, believe it or not, over there. But of course, you don't get a bigger opportunity to compete in the sport of Muay Thai than right here at RDBS on Rajadam Nun World Series. Inside the beautiful Rajadam Nun Stadium. Welcome, Sulachai, to RWS. And I knew I had to pay for it Always knew that I was made for this My path, I paved the shit My path, my grave it is So Past lives, they hover over like crows Just like I hover over my code All hell, almighty freedom I chose Tall tales, my eyes see to my road Don't look at the clock, I don't even got time I see people ride, I see people stop I see people let it pass by I see the evil, maybe that's why I see needles next to that wine I see demons and I see signs I need reason, you don't need mine Once I took a roll of that dice That shit took control of my life Twice I paid the toll for that price Nights and days, hoping I fight Nights and days All right now you can see the tail of the tape between these two fighters. This, of course, is our fifth bout of the evening here at RWS. In the red corner, Nadaka. Nadaka Iwe Sports, or Adanadaka Yoshinari, is 22 years of age and stands at 165 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 115 pounds and has a reach of 165 centimeters. He is from Yokohama in Japan and has a professional record of 45 victories 
with five losses and one draw. The current Rajnam Nam Stadium flyweight champion, that's at £112. He actually won that title in Japan recently and then defended it here at RWS. Even more recently, knocking out his opponent, Rungwitia, in the process. He's also a former Rajnam Nam Stadium minimum weight, weight champion at £105 and a former Lumpini Stadium minimum weight champion also. So a three-time Thailand Stadium champion. Very, very impressive indeed. And his opponent from Lao, Sulachai Mad Ram Chara. He is 31 years of age and stands at 158 centimeters. So seven centimeters shorter than his opponent. He weighed in at 114.1 pounds and has a reach of 162 centimeters. He is from Paxe in Lao and has a professional record of 50 victories with 27 losses and three draws. And like we said, Naraka is looking to make history very soon and get his third Ratchanamnan title, which he will become the only non-Thai to achieve that. And you said it, Antoine. Who would want to face Nadaka? Who can we, who <laughs> can we find to compete against Nadaka? Now, at 112 pounds, that might prove even more difficult. And I, one of the reasons I believe that he's now competing at 115 is that there is a bigger talent pool out there at this weight category. Yeah, and he's pretty much ran out of opponents at exactly. 112. He went from 108 pounds and he became the Rajaman champion, ran out of opponents. So he moved up to 112, <laughs> ran out of opponents, and now here he is at 115 pounds. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of those potential opponents at 115 pounds will be watching on. I know one of the names that's been banded around is Prow Prow from Pet Yindi Academy. And of course, we'll be seeing Pet Morricot, Pet Yindi Academy taking to the ring in our final four this evening. But yet, yeah, there is, like I said, a lot of talent at 115 pounds and some incredible matchups that we could see with the incredible Nadaka. So, like we talked about, he is one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world. Many people say in the top 10 in the sport of Muay Thai, current Rajadam Nurn flyweight title. Riding a 24 fight winning streak. <laughs> Undefeated in over four years, six time world champion, and actually has a win over 147 pound Hercules, who's in the final four of the tournament, which is <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, there you can see his Y crew. Here you can. If you have been following AWS, you can already guess. It didn't what's work about for Sai Ito, but it did work for Issei. Yeah. I've got a feeling it might work for the Samurai. Carving slash, up his opponent. Slash. And nah, he says no. <laughs> I can do better than that. I can do better than that. And here, what what is coming? What is coming? The bazooka. One, two, three shots. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Entertaining Waiku as usual from Naraka, the double champ. Final bout of our prelims here at this week's spectacular RWS. Nadaka in the red corner, taking on Sulachai, Sulachai from Lao. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fifth bout of RWS Legend of Ratchet of the. This is Muay Thai. This is Ratchet of the. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Chris Sadat Bunyan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner. 22 years of age, he stands when it adds 65 centimeters tall and put it when it adds 15 pounds. He holds a record of 45 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He is former Lumini Stadium Minimum Weight Champion and former Russian Under Stadium Minimum Weight Champion and current Russian Under Stadium Flyweight Champion fighting our Yokohama Japan. Let's hear it for. Nanaka Ewa Sport! Yeah! 
man is the one fighting about the blue corner. 31 years of age, his turn, one and fifty-eight, St. Miss Toy, and wedded, one and fourteen point one pounds. He, or Ricardo, fifty wins, twenty-seven losses, and three draw. He is Laos kickboxing champion, and Laos Muay Thai champion, representing Laos. Let's hear it for Sui Chai, Madam Sarah. All right, here we go. It's the final prelim of tonight's RWS. Nadaka, the samurai from Japan. And we have Sulashai from Lao. Fight. <laughs> they just forgot the gum shield there of Nadaka. Don't know they'll need it. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Again, like you said, those we're, we're bigging up Nadaka a lot right now. Yeah, we are. You know? and, and Putting people, a lot of pressure on him. Absolutely. And people are going to understand why very soon. But obviously, Sulichai, he's not here to just take, to just be a part. And, exactly. and if you're going to be standing against Nadaka, you've got to have that confidence that you're going to be able to come out as a victor right away. Beautiful low kicks there from Nadaka. Ooh. Tempting front kick to the older Sulichai. Oh, and again, he's attacking that right league leg. I like what Sulichai is doing, pushing forward right away. Showing no respect to Nadaka. Right kick attempt. Good block from Nadaka. Oh, good left high kick again there from the superstar from Japan, Nadaka. Oof. Again. Oh, body Oof. shot. Hook. Almost nearly hit the referee. Nadaka looking slick and confident as always. Sulishai is going to have to figure out this puzzle. The right kick attempt right away. One, two, three, four. Combination oh. from Nadaka as expected. Machine and the elbow. Goes. And down he goes. Spectacular once again from Nadaka. Hands, elbows, knees. And it looks like that he's cut. There's yeah. an issue. Can Beginning of the end, it seems, Antoine. Flying knee from Nadaka. Oh, and this is it. And down he goes. Nadaka is it. He is the man. Who everyone thinks is the ball for Bound Best. And he might have just proved it once again here on RWS. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. The dog is there to check the eye of the fighter from Lao. Could be we, another broken nose, another KO here tonight on yeah, RWS. We, Spectacular. We said it. You can expect nothing less from Nadaka. The power, the precision, the speed from this fighter. And something might be wrong with. His eye right now. We'll I'm hoping it's not. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not an orbital break. Yeah, Something we'll have serious. the doctor. Let's have a look at the highlights, the handiwork of this phenom by the name of Nadaka. Oh, look at that! What One, an two, elbow. three, four. And now. Oh, here. and then a right elbow. The final elbow was just finding a way through the guard. Of course, I think, oh, something may have, but perhaps it was on the eye. And here was the very first elbow that dropped the fighter from Lao. Nasty, as always, Nadaka, the precision. Ladies and gentlemen, of the one minute and 17 seconds of the first round, we have a winner. By way of knockout, red corner, Nadaka Ewa Swan Jam! Gentlemen, before we move on to the next main card, let me first give you a proper introduction to something that stood alongside the sports of Muay Thai. Something that truly captures the heart and soul of Muay Thai. Let me introduce Rachinamdan Pico Orchestra!
some noise for Russian and then Piccolo Orchestra! Back to RWS Ratchet and Nern World Series Legend of Ratchet and Nern. And I have to say, Aaron, the very first part of the prelim fights were truly amazing. Amazing. Five fights with three stoppages. It sets up this main card perfectly. And my word, what a main card we have tonight here on RWS. Yeah, absolutely. And before we get to that part, I want to mention that, of course, we have two very special bonuses for our fighter, which is the performance of the night and the knockout of the night. And of course, now that I say this, I have to talk about last week's knockout of the week because it was truly amazing, performed by the Ritiwada Petgindi Academy, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. 200,000 baht going to Ritiwada and Kelvin Gastelum from the UFC was here to witness that very knockout and was able to congratulate Ritiwada on that spectacular knockout. Yeah, now let's get back to tonight's slide because tonight, I do want to say that it's a night of revenge. It's a night of vengeance. It is very personal for most fights tonight, Aaron. Yeah, Pet Morricot taking on Tanunchai. They fought before a few years ago. Pet Morricot took the victory, but it was very, very close. Tanunchai, in fact, thought that he won that fight. And then, of course, we've got Daniel Rodriguez, one of the best male athletes, not just Muay Thai fighters, in the world, a spectacular fighter taking on Yonwicha, a legend of the sport. One year ago, today, the 9th of September, the first time these two fighters met, we know what happened, Daniel got the victory, and then, in December, he won Yonwicha once again. This time, this yeah. will be the third fight. Absolutely, and, and, and it's gonna be very interesting because we got Daniel in one side, undefeated, probably one of the best fighter of this era and tonight he's fighting against Jan Bisha, like you said for the third time and Jan Bisha said before he entered the tournament I have one target and that's Daniel I want to take my revenge and tonight he's gonna get it can he get the win or not I don't know we're about to find out but of course the main event the main event Aaron two legends of the K1 era Muakau against Kido yeah it's interesting because Kido always said that throughout this time at K1 Boka was a monster. He was on another level from anyone. But he feels that now, at the age of 40, he is better than Boka. And he feels like it's his destiny to be here tonight at Rajnam Nun Stadium and his destiny to defeat Boka in front of his home crowd. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we have one fight before all of that. So let's have a look at the fight card. In our first bout of the evening, we have Shadow Singama Win from Thailand taking on Shokras from Venom Muay Thai from Uzbekistan. And then we've got the final four, Pet Morakot, Pet Gindi Academy, will be taking on Tananchai Sit Song Pinong. Yeah, and of course, the second part of the final four, the undefeated Daniel Rodriguez. Tonight, he will be taking on for the third time, Yadvisha, Yadvisha Jim. And of course, the main event of the evening, the fight everybody has been waiting for, Buakao Banchamek. Tonight, he will be fighting against Yashuhiro Kido. So like we said, a lot of actions tonight. And of course, the very first fight of the main card, Shadow. He is still the current Ratchadamnon world champion, but unfortunately, he's out of the tournament, Aaron. Yeah, he was last year's champion at 147 pounds and decided this year to move up to 154 pounds. 
it hasn't quite worked out for him. So tonight, I'm sure he wants to make a statement that he is still one of the very, very best Muay Thai fighters in the world. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the fighters. So please welcome from Thailand, Shadow Singh Mawin and his opponent from Uzbekistan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shakos Vino Muay Thai. And here comes the champion. Shadow is back here in Ratchatamun Stadium. Like we said, he might not be part of our WS tournament anymore, but he still wants to prove the world that he deserves to still be known as a champion. Can he prove to us tonight he is worthy? This is Shadow Simawin. And coming to the ring, his opponent, Chakruz Ortikov from Uzbekistan, fighting out of the very, very special Venom Muay Thai. They produce some of the most amazing fighters right now, some of the best in the sport as he struggles to get over the ring here at Rajadam Nern Stadium. Let's hope he can perform better than that. But welcome to the ring, making his debut here at RWS, Chakruz Ortikov Venom Muay Thai. And you can see the tail of the tape of the two fighters. We've got Shadow Singama Win from Thailand. Still only 22 years of age, stands at 180 centimeters. He weighed him yesterday at 103.9 pounds and has a reach of 186 centimeters. He was born in Tak in Thailand and has a professional record of 76 wins, 22 losses and one draw. Last year's RWS 2022 welterweight world champion and a former Rajnam Nern Stadium champion at the same weight. And of course, aiming to become the first two division champion in AWS. Unfortunately for him, that journey ended in the group stages. Now you can see his opponent, Shokros Otikov from Uzbekistan. 25 years of age and 175 centimeters. Five centimeters shorter than Shadow. He stands at 183 centimeters and is from Samarkand in Uzbekistan. He only has eight fights to his name in professional ranks with seven victories and one loss. A three-time Uzbekistan Muay Thai champion known for his power, like I said, making his debut in the illustrious RWS. The best Muay Thai promotion in the world. This a big moment for Shadow. I'm sure he's sad that he's not a part of the final four. Of course, a lot has been made about what he wanted to do with that money. It's always been about taking care of his mother. But I'm sure opportunities will come for Shadow at 154 pounds, remember, moving up. In the group stages, he lost to Yogi Cha, and then he defeated Burak Poiroz, but then he lost to Pet Morikot by the So you have to remember, he's only had, he had two losses this year against Yogi Cha and Pet Morikot, and they were very, very close. Yeah, absolutely. Very close. And a lot of people, they actually thought that he, he won against Pet Morikot. Yeah, exactly. It was a very, very, very close decision, and we expect to actually see a rematch when the tournament is done and this is why shadow is still active here in our ws and and like you said before he moved up from 147 pounds to now 154 and and there was a lot of questions to be answered if he was ready for it yet and to be honest and to be fair i think he did a pretty good job even though he did not make it through in the tournament 
I agree 100%. Let's not forget, he is 22 years of age and still growing into his frame and he looks comfortable now. He looks healthy at 154 pounds. And of course, training out of Singamar win before Superborn, of course, moved to his own gym. He was training there, sparring with Shadow, which I'm sure would have helped him. And there you can see last year's champion hanging up in the hollow halls of Rajaramnan Stadium. Again, if you're in Bangkok, you have got to come and witness Muay Thai here at Rajaramnan Stadium. There is nothing like it in the world. Last year, he defeated Johnny Betts. He defeated Mung Kong Kao. He drew with Sajad. Then in the final four, defeated Yokumpon and defeated Sib Mun in the final. He is a top, top talent. And we talk about the four horsemen of 154 pounds, the final four coming up next. Believe me, Shadow is not far away from making it five horsemen, let me tell you. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have four bouts coming up on the main card. Featuring RWS Final Four of the Super Belt of World Division. And of course, the main event of the evening. Coming up in the last bout, RWS Legend of Russian Men, Bukha Wachami versus Yatsuro Kido. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start the sixth bout of the evening. We are live from the bad place of Muay Thai to over 200 countries around the world. This is Muay Thai. And this is Roger Dumbledore. Ladies and gentlemen, this book is brought to you by Dora K Corporation, sponsor and pumpkin, and introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Chenin Teb Supan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red color, 22 years of age, his hands when it and it is enemy's tall and wedded and at 53.9 pounds. He, a record of 76 wins, 21 losses, and one draw. He, the former Russian Stadium champion, an RWS 2022 World to World World Champion, representing the province Thailand. Let's hear it for Shadow Simbawe! His opponent fighting on the blue corner, 25 years of age. He stands with an 75 centimeters tall and winning with an 54 pounds. He will record up seven wins and one losses. He is three times Uzbekistan Muay Thai champion. Representing Uzbekistan, let's hear it for Sukruz winner Muay Thai. of our main card and what a fight we've got. Shadow Singamar win from Thailand. Last year's RWS Crossway champion. Oh, again, Shokros who's just walked straight over to Shadow <laughs> from Uzbekistan in the blue corner. Good low kick there from Shadow. Oh, tempted left high kick, almost connecting there. Shadow very strong. We've seen him adjusting to the three rounds format as he used to have a very slow start, but slowly we've seen the adjustments he's been doing and doing better and better and better. And right away, you can see Shadow pushing forward, being aggressive, good low kick there. Yeah, we've also seen Shadow throw into the fight. Oh. He's now 154 pounds as well. Now it's oh. completely different taking on fighters like Pet Morakot and Tanon Chai and Yodwicha. And he's, he's starting to understand that, what his capabilities are at this weight class and he's starting to get more dangerous with it. Remember, just 22 years of age, I think people forget that. Good low kick there by Shadow, pushing back the Uzbeki. Good left kick to the body, just on the arm there. 
Yeah, Shao Cruz. Oh, oh like good, good combination yeah, there. It was. Moving in with an elbow. I tell you, these fighters, the, the train out of Venom Muay Thai, they're no joke. Yeah, so absolutely. talented. And they know when you're facing somebody of the caliber of Shadow, you better be ready. And let's not forget Mohamed Siasirani, we've seen get knocked out here at RWS. Defeated City Chai from <laughs> fighting out of Venom Muay Thai last night, which is spectacular for him. Yeah, absolutely. They have, a, they have a stacked talent of fighters, and I don't know where they find them from, to be honest. <laughs> right away. Shadow again, very aggressive. Good defense there. Oh, one, two from Shokus. Oh, nice that kick to the body by Shadow. It's been all hands from Oh, Shokus good outside so fight. He didn't block that one, Antoine. It looked yeah. like it hurt him. Yeah, I think it did. Shokus looking for that uppercut. Shadow just moving forward. Ooh, good right kick there by Shadow. Shadow very confident. Oh. He looks like he's worried about nothing right now. Exactly. Good right hand. Oh, kick to the body there by Shadow. Shokus though takes him off his feet. He's no slouch. Remember, he's only had eight fights in his professional career. Oh, beautiful technique there. Perfectly timed was from beautiful. Shadow. Beautiful. Oof. Beautiful kick to the middle section. Again, you can see the guard of Shadow. More tight guard with the long arm. Oh, and a an sticky elbow. elbow. Yeah, it was. Good elbow by Shadow, sneaking that one through the guard of Chakras. Good solid please. round here for both these fighters. Shadow not having it all his own way. Yeah, good combinations from Sharkus, but the power is 100% on Shadow's side. And let's not forget Venom Muay Thai, they fought Shadow before. Sajjad, of course, where they drew. So they do know about Ooh. him. Oh, that was a good right hand. Sharkus can take a smack. Yeah, absolutely. Good chin on him. And a few punches already. A few oh. seconds left in the first round. Good low kick, high kick from Shadow. Good solid round, end of round one. Shadow looking the happier of the two, heading back to the corner. But Chakra is having his moments, especially with his hand strike. All right, let's have a look at the highlights from that opening round. Left uppercut to the body, or left jab, or sorry, left hook, should I say, to the body there by Chakra. Oh, Inside sweep by Shadow taking Chakras off his feet and there oh. is that elbow strike. Chakras took it well, stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges, star red 10, blue 9. But it did belong to Shadow. So yeah, we trending. Watch what you say, don't offend them. They keep in the realm and commend them. People like get your wife pregnant, but I ain't trying to be dependent. I need money, never end. Alright, here we go. Round number two. I need the only you run it. Remember, after this fight, we are entering the final four super welterweight tournament. The first fight will be Pet Morocot taking on Tanunchai. And then it's Daniel against Yogbuchar. And then in the main event, it's Borkout versus Yasahiro Kido. What a set of fights they are. Low kicks there by Shadow. They can see confirmation of the judges' scorecards from the opening round. Nice left kick there from Shadow. I feel like the intensity has just gone up a notch now. Yeah, right away, Shadow very aggressive, pushing forward with those kicks. Remember he did this against uh, Sajad last year, just constantly move forward, walking through all the shots that were being thrown at him. Oh. There's that inside kick again. <laughs> Again, perfectly timed. And you can see Shoku is looking at his corner momentarily, saying, wow, I've thrown a lot of combinations. <laughs> oh. Nothing is working. What do I do? That was a beautiful right kick to the midsection there. By oh, oh, his leg is gone. I think that's it. Perhaps the knee, perhaps the leg. I'm not sure. I think, I think it's the leg. Yeah, I, I think we saw that in the opening round. Yeah, and you've called it I in did. the very first round. I did. Yes, you I did. did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he's going to continue. I don't think how, what we're saying. Two or three. Or yeah. maybe one, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. One more. Oh, He's not throwing one more section. leg kick, surely. So he will, he will, waiting for his rhythm, the timing. Oh, good uppercut oh. there from Chakras. And somehow not going back to the leg. There oh, is. and there he is. It one. only took one. Just one. It only took one low kick to end this fight. Yeah, I mean, the I referee's this, counting, but I don't think it's yeah, necessary. I think he can it. call it. Surely the referee's going to look in his eyes and he can see that he can't continue. Oh, he's well, he says yes. 
He says yes. How many more can he take? And Shadow looking for the finish now. One more yeah, kick, and it. that is it over. I think the referee could have called it after yeah. the first, to be honest. But there you have it. Shadow comes out in the second round and destroys the leg of Chakras from Ben of Muay Thai. There's his move. His mother <laughs> enjoying the action here on RWS. Congratulations to last year's champion and showing exactly why he was the champion yeah, of absolutely. last year's tournament. We talked about the power that Sh Shadow possessed and here again tonight he showed it. Yeah, great show sportsmanship there by both fighters. Fortunate for Chakras. I hope they give him an opportunity to come back. It was very brave to fight Shadow on what a moment's notice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and that was it. That was the last one. Just too much. The power oh. of Shadow on full display here on RWS. Absolutely. A knockout Boakata would have been proud of. <laughs> what a kick from Shadow. And this is the power of Muay Thai fighters. Just separated. Took a step back and threw that kick straight oh. to the fly. And that was it. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 39 seconds of this second round, we have a winner by way of Technica Nagar Red Corner! Right back to RWS and another stunning performance by Shadow. Yeah, unbelievable. Another knockout, another stoppage here at RWS. But now it's time for that final four, Antoine. The final four that many people have been waiting for. Yeah, absolutely. Tonight we're about to find out who's going to make it to the final. But of course, I want to talk about RWS tournament because we do have five different weight classes, which means we will have five champions who will be earning each three million baht but not only that we do have a very special prize for them because one of them is going to become the rws final mvp and with that award they're going to get something very special iron yeah that's correct the mvp of this year's 2023 rws will get a ducati panagali v4s one of the most beautiful motorbikes in the world, worth 1.329 million baht. So, one fighter will be the champion, will be MVP, and get that beautiful bike. Yeah, absolutely. And not to mention that last year's MVP was Daniel, who not only became the Rajan champion, the RWS champion, but also he got the final MVP prize. So it's going to be very interesting to see who's going to get the final MVP of this year. But of course, now we're getting to the very final four. And we've said it before, this is very personal for a lot of these fighters, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Like, let's take a look at our next fight. Pet Morocot is now 29 years of age in Muay Thai terms. He's at the very peak of his powers against Tanon Chai, who's built, who's getting stronger. And now, He's the one who's coming up the mountain, chasing Pet Morocot. They might be on the same level now. This is the time, a big moment for both these fighters. Pet Morocot, he's done everything in the world of Muay Thai, but he has never been the RWS champion. To be able to do that, he has to win here tonight. And then moving on, we've got Daniel. Two times he's won Yodbichar. Two yeah, wins, one of the best athletes in the world of sport, not just Muay Thai taking on Yobichar, a legend of the sport, who, let's be honest, was a little bit embarrassed by the fact that he's lost twice against Daniel. Yeah, absolutely. And like I've said before, he is here with only one target, and that's Daniel. He wants to take revenge, so we're going to find out if he will be successful or not. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, this is the Super Whale to Wait Final Four. The undefeated, the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai. He has a professional record of zero losses. Ratchet and World Champion, RWS Tournament World Champion, 
He is here once again with Rachel and Men. The man who came back to this tournament not just to win it, but to take revenge against Daniel a fighter that will go down as one of the legends of this era. Samuel will be facing Yon Bisha and Pat Malako will be taking on Tanan Chai. 154 pounds for a WS tournament. The best fighters in the world will face each other tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now moving on to our WS Final Four of the Super Welterweight Division. The first bout will be a battle between Pet Morakot, War Sang Prapai, Pet Jinti Academy versus Tanan Chai, Sit Song Pinong. And in the second bout is a battle between Daniel Rodriguez versus Yod Vichar, Yod Vichar Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our WS Super Welterweight Final Four. Please welcome on stage. Pet Morakot, Wa Sang Prapai, Pet Jindi Academy, and Tanan Chai, Sit Song Pinong! Here comes Pet Morocco. He's been the favorite from the beginning on the tight side. And here he is in the semi-final. He will also be the favorite for this fight tonight. A lot of pressure for him, that's for sure. This is Pet Morocco, Pet in the Academy. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to dash shells before I land in our tomato. Singing on my songs on the pile. And here comes technically the underdog. Even though it's a very young and hungry dog. Tanon Chai, Sit Song P Nong. The runner up in group A. His only loss was a split decision loss to Daniel Rodriguez. But he knocked out Razor and he defeated Kong Jack to make it through to the final four. We've got the oldest in Pet Morakot taking on the youngest in the tournament in Tanon Chai. A fight of heroes. Welcome Tanon Chai, Sit Song P Nong. And here you can see the tail of the tape for your first super welterweight final four matchup in the red corner. Pet Morakot, Pet Yindi Academy, Coming from Thailand, 29 years of age. He stands at 180 centimeters. Has a reach of 178 centimeters. He is from Ubon Ratchatani here in Thailand and has a professional record of 164 victories with just 30 losses and two draws. He is a former two division Lumpini Stadium champion, a former WBC Muay Thai world champion, and a former one championship world champion. And in the blue corner, Tanan Chai, Sit Song, Pinong. There's a reminder, of course, of the weekly bonuses. Good luck figuring that one out. Performance of the night, and of course, knockout of the night. Both could be claimed by a variety of fighters. Yeah, We've had absolutely. so many so far. It's been unbelievable. What a night of action, and still more to come. Tanan Chai, 22 years of age, stands at 180. Five centimeters, five centimeters taller than Pet Morricot. And believe me, when they come together, you can see the size difference. He has a, a reach of 188 centimeters and was born in Roy Et in Thailand. Has a professional record of 60 victories with 21 losses and two draws. The current WBC Muay Thai Super Welterweight World Champion and a former Omnoy Stadium Champion and also a former IFMA, the amateur ranks of Muay Thai World Championship gold medalist. 
Pet Morricot, the winner of Group B. He defeated Shadow. He defeated Yodvichar. And he also defeated Poiraz. In 2023, he is 4-0 in the sport of Muay Thai. His total record in RWS is 5-0. He actually made his RWS debut last year with a win over Razor. In his last, last 10 fights, he's won nine, lost one, and his only loss was against to Tawan Chai in a very close fight. He's also had pro boxing experience, 5-0 with three TKOs. Fought Tawan Chai back in March of 2021, so two years ago. And that was on Pet Yindi Promotions. A very, very close fight indeed, which, like I said, Pet Morakot was happy to go away with that win, but a lot of people thought that Tananchai did enough to take the victory. So, not only is that final, sorry, that final up for grabs, not only is the 3 million baht up for grabs, not only is the potential to be the MVP and get that beautiful new bike, but Tananchai also wants to settle a score as well. All right, here we go. I'm excited for this one. We're gonna find out who heads to the final and who heads out of the tournament. There's Sia Boat. It is Pet Morricot in the red corner, Tananchai in the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first bout of RWS Final Four of the Super World to Wear Division. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian of them. This bout is brought to you by Lotus Mattress and Train Rubicons and introducing our referee on stage, Mr. G. Rasin Sira Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting of the Red Connor, 28 years of age. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighing 154 pounds. He a record of 164 wins, 30 losses and two draws. He is former one championship world champion and former WBC Muay Thai world champion and former two division Lumini Stadium champion representing Ubon Rajatani province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pat Morricot, Warsang Prapai, Pachini Academy! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, 22 years of age. His turns with an 85 centimeters tall and weighing with an 54 pounds. He will record up 60 wins. 21 losses and two draw. He is IFMA World Championship Gold Medalist and former Omni Stadium Champion and current the BBC Muay Thai Super Welterweight World Champion representing Royet Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Hanan Chai Sip So Pina! All right, here we go. The first of two semi-final, final four matchups here on this year's RWS. Who is heading to the final? And who is heading out of the competition? Here we go. A lot of pressure from both fighters, that's for sure. They we experienced Pet Marker, like you said, one of the favorite of the tournament as well. Time Chai right away with the pressure, good right hand. Oh, good right hook though from Pet Morricot. Nice right low kick, sorry, kick to the body from Tan and Chai. That kick there by Pet Morricot in reply. Tanachai is really taking it to Pet Morricot right now, going after him. Yeah, as expected, Tanachai pushing forward. Oh, good right hook there from Pet Morricot. Oh, swing there, working with Manus, of course, <laughs> and Pet Yindi. Oh, and the elbow. Yeah, Pet Morricot looking for that jab as well. Trying to set up more strikes using that jab, of course. And you know Tananchai is going to want to work in the clinch, but Pat Markov is really good at defending in the clinch. Very true. Oh, oh. takes his left high kick there from Pat Markov. Yeah, Wasn't one, far two. away. Tananchai applying the pressure. Good hands coming in, though, by Pat Markov. Tananchai here for revenge. 
Oh, one, two. Beautifully done, but two double kick from Pat Merker. And this is the style of Pat Merker. He's always slowly sneaking a few shots here and there. Oh, good left hook from Tonachai as Pet Morricot threw that left kick to the body. Good evasive movements there by Pet Morricot as Tanachai once again is flying at him. Oh! Sends it right high kick. Yeah, I like what Tanachai is doing right now. Oh, good Very left hand. aggressive. Nice left hand there from Tanachai. I swear, every time I see Tanachai, I feel like he has a few more muscles to his body. He's looking strong. Yeah, he is indeed. And Pet Morricot. Oh! Nice left kick to the body though by Pet Morricot. Oh, Pet Morricot not looking as confident as people would expect. And that's all because Tanenchai very aggressive, beautiful jumping knee here. And Pet Morricot though able to move out of the way. Very cerebral Pet Morricot. He's a problem for any fighter, oh, really dude. is. Makes it so difficult for you to figure him out. He's got great movement. You can throw counter strikes. <laughs> Tanachai again looking for that elbow. But Pet Morricot was the one who was throwing two kicks to the body. Yeah, so far a pretty close round. Gonna be a tough one to judge. We've got Tanachai moving forward, but those double kicks from Pet Morricot are working in a beautiful left hand. Yeah, beautiful kicks to the body for Pet Morricot. And that, to, for me right now in this round, is the difference maker between the two. Tanachai is moving forward, he is being aggressive, but he keeps walking into the left kicks to the body. Oh, but the right middle kick is followed by the elbow. Oh, oh sends it high knee there from Tananchai. Standing tall, making himself big in that corner, defending well. Yeah. Close round. Very close round, but Tananchai very confident. And he was the aggressor of the two. You can oh, see. and a cut maybe on Tananchai's side. Oh, you're right, that's a great spot. Oh, no. Blood flowing from the eyebrow, it seems, of Pet Morricot. Let's have a look at the highlights from that opening round. I wouldn't like to be a judge right now, Antoine. Tanachai, he started so well. He did walk into that right hook. And all of a sudden, halfway through the round, it felt like Pat Morricot had figured out Tanachai more and was delivering good kicks to the body. And yeah, overall, right. a great round of Muay Thai chess match here in this final four. Ladies like and gentlemen, the first round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. I feel like the correct is in the way he puts the beats, he's a judge's fighter. He knows exactly what they're looking for somehow. Alright, here we go, round number 2. A huge round now for Tanunchai. Maybe the most important of his life so far in terms of his Muay Thai career. Oh, you're absolutely right, because if he loses this round, then that means that he would need a knockout or a knockdown to at least get a draw. All right, right away, second round. I want to see where that cut is on Pet Morricot. There is blood flowing, but can't ex entirely see where it's coming from. Good left elbow within the clinch there. Oh, oh the oh, kick from good Pet Morricot. Left, left kick, left hand there by Pet Morricot. Yeah, and this is the thing, Tananchai, he knows he wants to get in the clinch to throw some knees, but as soon as he gets there, we're in Pet Morricot's world as well, and he's so good at defending. And when he's on top as well, so difficult to get back into the fight. Yeah, so Chai. clever. On the outside, oh. no right kick, right head kick attempt. So it looks like there's blood flowing from the lip there of Pet Morricot. Oh! Yeah. Referee telling him to stop moving backwards. They don't like that here on RWS. Oh, good right kick from Tan Chai. Good left hand from Pet Morricot though. Gary in the clinch, can they get some work or back to the ropes once again? And the ref is gonna put them back in the middle yeah the, the cut is on the lips i think or yes. somewhere around there an elbow strike yes. i'm guessing to the uh, to the lip with sanachai moving forward again looking for that right elbow not sure if he found all of it it's also something to think about as well from the camp in bet you have know, also they've got capitan through to the final and of course they've got retiwada through as well oh, 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 oh my goodness and he's caught he's hurt he's hurt he's holding on for dear life right now Wow! The script has just flipped on his head. Oh my goodness! A beautiful elbow there from Tanachai. Nowhere! What an elbow! What a shot! But Pantalakon is still in the game with an elbow of his own. Wow! What a story we have in this second round. But Morakot was in what seemed like control, then all of a sudden that beautiful elbow strike from Tanachai.
rocking Pet Morricot who's trying to fight back here with elbows. Yeah, now you can see Pet Morricot defending, trying to survive this round, looking at the clock. And he knows he's behind, and this is why you can see him pushing forward in this round. Yeah, more urgency here from Pet, Pet Morricot. Beautiful elbow there from Tanachai, using that length that he has, that reach to his advantage. Yeah, absolutely, but Tanachai going backwards, somehow he was very successful going forward, so would like to see him on that roll. Just trying to see in the corner of Tanachai, and they're still telling him to move forward. They're not as animated as the uh, Pet Yindi group in the corner. Good knee there from Tanachai. Just over 30 seconds remain in this round. Pet Morco trying to come back in this round. Beautiful left kick attempt. Oh, and what a jab. Tanachai very confident right now. Yeah, absolutely, before the fight is even over. Oh, good one too from Pet Morco. Again, a very close round, even though he did get that shot. Absolutely, 20 seconds left. Stay in the game, especially against somebody like Pet Morco. Swinging left hand there, oh. another attempted elbow for Tanachai. I think Pet Morricot just got his arms up in time. This is going to be another close round for the judges to score. <laughs> Woo. Wow, what a round. Very, very close round again. Anybody who thought that it was going to be all Pet Morricot, you are sadly mistaken. Tanachai staking his claim in that second round. More blood, you can see that lip injury. From Pet Morricot, big blood flowing from that lip. Let's have a look at the highlights in that second round. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, the sneaky elbow. It was not bad. That was the one. Beautiful left elbow and a right. Both fighters looking for right hooks, but here. Oh, beautiful elbow. But again, it was one shot, so I hope Tanachai stays in the game. We all know it's black, nigga, genius. Everybody love the culture, they be black by convenience. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my nigga. Shot it like a real nigga answer. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a nigga answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. Citizen, no, gentlemen, the bench, in the, bench, the second, bench, second round, all left. three judges, score red nine, blue ten. So the total score, all three judges score 19 to 19, even. So the next round will be the judgment round. Win the round, win the fight. It's a fight for three million baht. The pressure is unbelievable right now. A war between two Muay Thai monsters, Pet Morricot and Tanan Chai. All right, here we go. Like Bia says, you win the round, you win the fight. You win the fight, you're through to the final. Let's see how this one plays out. Third and final round, left kick there. Another bite, Tanan Chai. So it seems to be the right kicks of Tanan Chai versus the left kicks of Pet Morricot. Both fighters happy in the clinch. This is tense right now because it's one of those situations where if you make one mistake, that could be it. These, these two are just so close and match up stylistically so well. Good left hand here from Pet Yindi. From, sorry, from Pet Morricot. Looking for that left elbow, beautiful there. And again from Pet Morricot, looking for those elbow strikes. Acknowledged by Tananjai. Right kick to the body there. Tananjai with a right kick to the body. Oh, this is tense. This is close. Pet Morricot hesitant to throw. Both fighters looking for that left hand. Morricot in the clinch, blocking or trying to block what Tamanchai is throwing at him. Like I said, Pet Morricot so cerebral. One of his biggest weapons is his brain. He just knows how to find victories. He does it over and over again throughout the years here in the sport of Muay Thai. And remember, undefeated in the sport, or in the promotion, sorry, of RWS since he made his debut last year. Tanachai struggling to find him right now. Pet Morikov grabbing a hold of him and not allowing him to throw knees or elbows. Good round so far in my opinion, remember, unofficially in my opinion, by Pet Morikov, both fighters. I think they've done enough right now. Pet Morricot on the back foot. Tempted knee over the top there by Pet Morricot. I don't think either fighter is 
getting anything of significance in, but I do think Brett Morricot has the slight edge, if I'm being honest. Tempted left hook there from Tananchai. Good right knee. That one definitely scored. One minute to go. Deep breaths. Tananchai happy to be on the back foot. Left kick to the body there from Pet Morricot. Tananchai looking for the knee. Both fighters looking and glancing up at the clock. Celebrating like they both think they've won. That's a dangerous tactic for at least one of these boys anyway. 30 seconds left. The referee's asking them to move forward and start fighting, as is the crowd. Good left kick there by Pet Morricot. Good knee, steps his left hand by Pet Morricot, but he walks into a right knee. 20 seconds left on the clock. Who wants it, boys? Come on. So close, so tense. Again, the referee asks him to move forward and push, but it's only five seconds left. It could be one more strike that does it on the judges' scorecards, if I'm being honest. Well, they're both celebrating. They think they've done enough. They're both dancing. It was a real chess match. Obviously, remember, Pet Morricot, he won the first round. Talajai with that elbow strike, did enough to win the second and then in the third round. Both fighters thinking they've done enough. It was close. Unofficially, I believe Pat Morricot, but my, on my scorecard, unofficially, please remember that. Did enough to win the fight. But who am I? We will get the official decision soon, but let's have a look at the highlights from that fight. There was that left uppercut from Sanachai, then moved in with the right. Pat Morricot actually struck a coward in, that, in those exchanges. But it was Tan and Chai who took that second round, but in the third it was so close. Very difficult to separate these two fighters. Like I said, stylistically, they're very similar. Both very rangy and know how to use those ranged weapons. We're just waiting for the judges' scorecards here as we look. At the highlights from the fight. Remember, next up we've got Daniel Rodriguez taking on Yodwicha. All right, here we go. Oh, this is nervous. Beer has now got the cards, and we can get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of one time action. We go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 28 to 29. And the last judge scored 29 to 28. We have a winner by word of split decision. And moving on to AWS final. Gentlemen, Palantai Sit Song Binong will at once do AWS final of the Super Welterweight Division! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am now here with your winner, Tan and Chai. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling he says, I'm very proud of myself, very excited. I did fight by the rules. I was going forward and I got the win. I want to ask you. You're the very first in the final, but of course, the second semi-final. Who do you think is going to make it through? Now, we are the first one who is in the final. Now, I think who will win the final? I don't know. Because I am the first two people. One person is the first one. 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 But I believe that there is no one who is the first one. I think that there is no one who is the first one. 
สามารถพิกล็อกได้ตลอดเวลาอยู่แล้วนะครับ All right, he says, I don't know who's gonna make it to the final. Two very good fighters. One is a legend of clinch, and another one is undefeated. Well, congratulations! You need to have non give it up for Tanan Choi. And of course, we'll have a short break, and we'll be right back for the second final four. All right. Well, it looks like we do have our very first finalist, Aaron. What a fight that was! It could have been any closer. I actually, personally, thought that Ped Morakot might have taken it yeah, in that it was, third and final round. It was a round. very, very, very close fight indeed. Yeah, but you have to say congratulations to Tananchai and Sit Song Punong. They are now through to the final of this year's RWS tournament and one step closer to that three million buy. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, now. The second part of the semi-final, and we've said it over and over and over again. We have the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai, the only fighter who's never been beaten. He's never lost a single fight, which is Daniel Rodriguez. And tonight, he's gonna fight against Yadvisha for the third time against a guy who's just coming for his head. That's right, Daniel. He obviously was in last year's competition. And he took on Yodwicha and he lost in the group stages. And we put it down as well. Well, maybe Yodwicha underestimated him. But then they met again in last year's final. And guess what? By a split decision, once again, Daniel overcame Yodwicha and cemented his place as being one of the very best pound for pound fighters on the planet. As for Yodwicha, like you said, he's had a sniper scope, sniper scope at Daniel throughout this whole tournament. He's here. Not for the money. He wants to beat Daniel. That's his sole purpose of being here in RWS. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the fighters and please make some noise and welcome out of Dominican Republic, Switzerland, Daniel Rodriguez and his opponent from Thailand. Please welcome Yadvisha, Yadvisha James. So you got a pass, but I'm not And here comes Yadvisha. He's got one target and one target only, and that's Daniel. He's not here for the money, like Aaron said. He's not here for no title. He is here for Daniel, and Daniel only. Will he be the victor in the third fight? This is Yadvisha. Yadvisha, Jim. All right, and coming to the ring, it's the champion, last year's super welterweight, 2022 RWS champion, the man that no one has defeated in 41 fights, the man who has beaten his opponent twice before, the man who is the current Rajan Amun Stadium champion, one of the most and complete athletes on the planet, Daniel Rodriguez. The question is, can Lightning strike, not twice, but three times? Can he defeat Yorvicha once again and go through and take on Tanunchai? We are about to find out here on RWS. All right, let's have a look at the tail of the tape for the second semi-final in your final four for this year's 2023 Super Welterweight Tournament here at RWS. In the red corner, Daniel Rodriguez representing both the Dominican Republic and Switzerland. So his parents are from the Dominican Republic. They then moved over to Switzerland where Daniel was born. 
He is 24 years of age and stands at 185 centimetres. And he weighed in under the limit at 153.4 pounds. He has a massive reach, 191 centimetres, the longest in the tournament. He was born in Zurich in Switzerland and has a record of 41 fights, 41 victories, zero losses, zero draws. Unbelievable. Adwes 2022 Super Welterweight World Champion. The current Rajaramnern Stadium Super Welterweight Champion. Undefeated record. And there you can see performance of the night, 100,000 baht. Knockout of the night, also 100,000 baht. Now, if you want to know who wins the money, for those performance bonuses and knockout bonuses, you can follow us on social media. You can either follow us on, on Facebook at RWS, but that's all in Thai. I recommend going to IG and typing in RWS and follow us there. You'll get to see all the ongoings. You'll get to see little replays and highlights. And of course, the upcoming schedules here on this year's RWS. In the blue corner, we have Yogwichar, Yogwichar Jim from Thailand. 26 years of age, two years older than Daniel. 179 centimeters tall, so giving away five, sorry, six centimeters in height. He weighed in yesterday on the money at 154 pounds and has a reach of 186 centimeters. He was born in Nakhon Ratchasima here in Thailand and has a professional record of 156 victories. Just 53 losses and zero draws. A former WBC Muay Thai world champion. As you can see, Daniel Rodriguez staring back at you through the camera on the zone. A champion who wants to be a champion again. Yobichar, former two division Thailand champion and a former Lumpini Stadium champion. And also in 2012 was voted the Thailand Sports Writers Fighter of the Year, where he shared that accolade along with Sangmani. Well, I would say we've already seen one upset in the final four. If I'm being honest, I think a lot of people thought that Pet Morricot was going to take that victory. It was very close, but he didn't do it. And the underdog, the young 22-year-old Tananchai, is in the final. And I'm sure somewhere he will be watching on. The question is, is that man right there, who will be considered the underdog, <laughs> able to defeat the undefeatable Daniel Rodriguez. Well, I cannot explain the pressure <laughs> that is there, and especially here in Russia and Stadium, the atmosphere is just, everybody's just quiet, waiting for a massive storm to come. Absolutely, Antoine, and it is about to arrive. The third part of this story is now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second bout of RWS Final Four of the Super Welterweight Division. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian of them. This bout is brought to you by Leo Soda, Chemical Fertilizer, Wu Kantai, and all new Mitsubishi Triton. And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Python, Top Gla. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the blue corner, 26 years of age. He stands with it and 79 centimeters tall and weighing with it and 54 pounds. He will record of 156 wins and 53 losses. He is former Lumini Stadium champion and former two division Thailand champion and former WBC Muay Thai world champion, representing the Khon Rajasima province, Thailand. Let's hear it for your Wing Chong! Your Wing Chong! Yeah! And his opponent fighting over the red cannon, 24 years of age. He stands with it at 85 centimeters tall and weighing with it at 53.4 pounds. He oh, an undefeated record of. 40 wins! He is current Russian of the Stadium Super Welterweight Champion and RWS 2022 Super Welterweight World Champion representing Dominican Republic 
and Switzerland. Let's hear it for Daniel Rodriguez! All right, here we go. Three rounds to settle the score here at RWS. Tanochai is already through, but who will join him? Will it be Daniel Rodriguez or will it be Yodwicha? Oh, attempted left high kick straight away there by Rodriguez. Swing and a miss by the man who's changed camps recently. Antoine got to sit down with Daniel and talk to him about that. You can find that on Antoine's YouTube channel, Antoine Pinto, talking to both. Daniel Rodriguez and Super Bon. Very interesting to learn more about Daniel, of course. He's a very relaxed character. Switch gyms, a gym that was doing so well for him and decided he wanted to be, he didn't want to be the best in the gym, is what he said. Absolutely. And he wanted to train with Super Bon. Oh. oh, good right hand there from Yodvichar. Right away, we can see Yodvichar pushing forward. And like you said, Daniel, he doesn't want to be the best in his gym. He wants to be the best in the world. And tonight, ready to prove it once again, Yodvichar pushing forward. He knows that he needs to apply pressure in order to actually get the win tonight. And this is exactly what he's doing. Ooh. Attempts a left hand there from Yodvichar. Oh, good right, right high kick. kick. Yodvichar fighting well also. In this oh, third round, good right hand. Oh, in the oh, elbow. Beautiful elbow by Daniel. Just when you thought Yodvichar was starting to go on top. Strong left uppercut, right hook, the combination there from Daniel. And this is exactly what you can expect from both fighters going toe to toe. Nobody backing down. You miss and you pay for it. Beautiful one, two, good attempt here from the champion. Oh, another right hand there. Every time he misses that left hook, Yobichar finds a home for that right hand somehow. There's Ooh. that left hook once again. Daniel Ooh. moving forward with the right hand. Oh, oh the upper Beautiful uppercut there by Rodriguez. Stunning. Good knees here by Yobuchar, who was, of course, known as a big clinch fighter. And Daniel said if he comes in with the clinch, which he expects him to do, he will be ready and waiting. Daniel now taking it to Yobuchar within that clinch. And we already know Daniel, very athletic. Probably one of the most athletic fighters, fighter in the world right now. Yeah. Left knee there by Don, uh, Daniel Rodriguez within that clinch. 50 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Another close round here. Very close round at RWS in that final four. Oh, sweet! Oh, oh, oh. Almost by Yodvisha. And almost by Daniel. Good sweep there. Daniel telling him to get up. Yodvisha somehow not pushing forward. Trying to be technical. Trying to win the rhythm. Trying to win the distance. Is it the right, the right decision or not? We're about to find out after this round. And Yobuchar looking for that right high kick. Oh, and the hook! Both fighters looking for big hooks there. Good elbow from Daniel once again through the guard of Yobuchar. Oh. Kick to the body. Again, Yobuchar looking for that right hand. Daniel smiling at it. He says he wants to exchange oh. those punches. Another right hand from Yobuchar. Daniel moves forward. Left and right hands coming in by the champ. Oh, good elbow there oh. to finish the round by Yodvichar. Wow, what a oh. round. What a round from both fighters. So okay. close, so tense. There it is. The precision has got to go for Daniel. But again, Yodvichar, very sneaky. Cut, getting, uh, hitting Daniel with a few right hands. It was amazing the round there the from both fighters. Just when you thought one fighter was on top, all of a sudden, the opponent came back. That was Yobuchar with that right kick. Good oh. uppercut. A couple of good uppercuts thrown by Daniel. A beautiful place. It really did hurt Yobuchar, but Yobuchar with that straight right also hurt from Daniel. Oh, what an elbow. Beautiful time. Stay with us. Round two coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red high, blue turn. This game was to do. Two, the round that will change somebody's life. Massive round for Daniel Rodriguez. Massive. Oh, oh. beautiful left kicks to the body here. Daniel moving through the gears. The intensity is definitely being upped. 
four kicks already by Daniel. Ooh, in the clinch now. Can we get some work? Remember the first two fights did go by way of Daniel. Ooh. Both by split decision. And it looks like it's going to be another close one, whatever the ha whatever happens. And somehow Daniel working his way in the clinch, something we did not expect. Not at all. But he did say, didn't he, in the interview with you, that he would be ready if Yobuchar wants to go into the clinch. Perhaps yeah, absolutely ready for anything. Oh, another left kick to the body there by Rodriguez. Good Ooh. uppercut by Daniel. It's been all Daniel so far in round number two. One minute for Daniel, two minutes remaining. Yobuchar trying to stay composed. Swing and a miss there by Yobuchar. Another team by Daniel. Back in, trying to back Yobichar into the corner, but he eats the left hand for his shovel. And there comes the old school Yobichar with those knees in the clinch. Yeah, really difficult to judge right now. Both fighters are defending really well in the clinch. Oh, Ooh. left body shot there from Daniel. Oh, Snapping right, right hand, hand by Yobichar. Testing the chin of Daniel. And it's holding up so far, though. And you can see Yobichar looking a little bit fatigued already. Daniel pushing forward, and this is exactly what he's supposed to do. One, two, there. I think those push kicks to the midsection are starting to worry Yobuchar. Like you said, looking for oh. Also, left kicks to the body as well, especially at the start of the round. Yeah, but right now, Yobuchar being very defensive somehow. Daniel, very aggressive. Yobuchar, perhaps, taking a few seconds to breathe it out. Just over one minute remains in this very tense second round. You can feel it in the head. Air right now here at Rajad Amnon Stadium. All fighters giving everything they've got to try and make it through to the final. And I like what Daniel is doing, pushing forward, but the clinch is obviously going to be in Yadvisha's favor. Oh, here, beautiful knee. And oh, what a jumping knee from Daniel. That's very, very, very close round. It again. is, it really is. But Yadvisha. More, way more defensive in this round, and can he get the shot? Ooh, sneaky elbow from Daniel. Not as much pop though. I think you did call it, Antoine. I really feel, I feel like fatigue. I don't know, maybe it's mental fatigue for Yobuchar as well. Trying to get over this big hurdle in his life that is Daniel Rodriguez. And he's so oh. close to do that. Another left kick to the body, and as soon as he's connected, Yobuchar walked backwards. Oh, and a one, two, three, one, two, three, and that might have cost him the round or not, Yobuchar. Good knees to the body once again. Second round in the books. Both fighters think they've done enough to take the round. What do you think at home watching Around the World live on The Zone? Daniel really could do with the judges seeing this one in his favor to take it to a judgment round once again in the final four. Let's have a look at the highlights. Push kick to the face there by Rodriguez. Oh, solid right hand, that was a shot of the round by Yodvishar. But overall, like I said, Yodvishar very defensive in this round, which might have been what cost him the round or not. We're about to find out in a few seconds. Beautiful knee to the midsection by Rodriguez using that reach. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round. First shot score, red ball, blue 10. Second shot score, red 10, blue 9, blue 10. Final total score, first shot score, 19, 18, 220. Second shot score, 19, 19, even. And the last shot score, 18, 20. Wants to go to the extra round. All right, 10 is on the line. Daniel, if I'm being honest, look at the pressure of the two right now. Here we go, third and final round. And we already know, ladies and gentlemen, Yadvisha is going to be surviving, trying to run down the clock. This round, Daniel on the other side. The time will be running up for him, one, two. The clinch is definitely not the position he wants to be in. Oh, good elbows oh, there from Daniel. Oh, and again. Yadvisha just going to hold on right now in this third round, try and run down that clock. He's going to frustrate Daniel as much as he can. Absolutely. Daniel, it might be oh, all hands in this round. 
And here you can see. Oh, attempted right elbow there from Yobichar. Yobichar trying to hold Daniel as much as he can. See Daniel trying to penetrate the guard here, and he can't find it of Yobichar. He's headhunting, he's doing everything he can. Yobichar, he's been in the Ooh. game a long time. Ooh. Very clever, he knows exactly what he's doing. The black is going to separate them, the, the clock is running down. Again, Yobichar just holding on to Daniel. And here is the experience of Yobichar. He's had hundreds and hundreds of fights and he's been in this situation before. All right, Daniel Rodriguez moving towards Yobichar. Oh, good right hand there, snapping the head back of Yobichar. We know what Daniel's made of, he's not going to give up. He's going to keep looking for that knockout. Another one, two there, coming in by Rodriguez. Elbow strike. I'm just a little bit surprised he hasn't got, gone back to the body, if I'm being honest. I thought though. Both shots in the second round took a toll on Yorvisha. But I guess when you need the knockout. Another left elbow attempted there by Daniel Rodriguez. And again, and once again, Yorvisha holding on for dear life right now. Rodriguez looking for an uppercut. Just over one minute remains. Right hook, left straight there from Daniel. Left knee there. Could be going down as one of the greatest rivalries in the history of the sport of Muay Thai. 55 seconds left on the clock. Yobuchar backing up. Here comes Daniel once again being spurred on by the crowd. Good uppercut there. Elbow by Yobuchar. Daniel moving back Yobuchar into the corner once again. Just can't find that Hail Mary that he needs to try and drop him. Body shots there by Rodriguez. Yobuchar is looking exhausted. Mouth open wide. Uppercut there by Rodriguez. Again, good defensive work by Yobuchar. Swinging left up there. Ten seconds left on the clock. It's now or never for Daniel Rodriguez. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yobuchar moving backwards, evading Rodriguez, and there it is! Yobuchar has done it! He's broken the curse that is Daniel Rodriguez! And he will be going through to the final to take on Tananjai Sit Song Pinong. Another very close chess match here at RWS. Daniel probably did take the third and final round, potentially, which means it could, it will be a split decision victory. Wow, three amazing fights. Let's have a look at the highlights. There, in the very first round, Yobuchar with that beautifully timed right hand. Daniel chasing him in the second. And one of the judges' scorecards, he won that second round. It was a very close fight once again between these two Muay Thai warriors. Like I said, I think we're it's not the last time we're going to see these two in the ring staring at each other. Maybe Yomicha also has a look. Also wants to compete for Daniel Rodriguez's uh, Rajamun Stadium title as well, potentially. Who knows? when he did go into the clinch, also looked very good with the knees. Let's get the official confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored his vote 29 to 28. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. And moving on to our best final. Relief and redemption, Yobuchar is through to the final. Ladies 
and gentlemen, your Vichar, your Vichar, Jim. We are moving on to AWS final and fight against Tenenchai, Sitso Pino. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, your Vichar. Your Vichar, at the moment, how do you feel? I feel happy because I have a lot of my own. ที่ทำให้เขาแพ้ได้ครับดีใจครับเป็นดีใจและภูมิใจที่ทำให้แดเนียลแพ้เป็นไฟแรกที่ผมผมควบคุมใจพี่ I'm very happy and super proud that I was the very first one to be able to defeat Daniel. Of course, now you've made it to the final. Please let us know, let us know how is it gonna go against t a n a n c h a i ตอนนี้เราอยู่ในรอบชิงแล้วอยากรู้เลยเจอกับ t a n a n c h a i จะเป็นยังไงบ้างครับโอ้งานงานหนักเลยครับเพราะน้องเขาแข็งแรงและยาวสูงกว่าเดี๋ยวเนี่ยอีกครับแต่อย่างอื่นผมขอขอบคุณทีมงานลูกสวนทีมยอดวิชาทีมนะครับ This is going to be a very tough fight, obviously in the final, because he's even taller than Daniel, and I want to thank my team, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, y o d v i s h a y o d v i s h a j e Ladies and gentlemen. RWS final of the Super v e t e r a n Division will be a match between y o r v i c h a y o r v i c h a j i m versus the Nanchai Sit s o p i n o Back to RWS, and I have to say, it is always heartbreaking to see a fighter lose. We've been with those fighters for over a year now. We've seen them compete every single month, and now we've finally come to the last two that will go to the final. Aaron. Yeah, you could see it in the eyes of y o r g i c h a the relief that was pouring out of that boy. He didn't want to be three and zero against Daniel Rodriguez, and congratulations to y o r g i c h a who's going through. To the final to take on t a n a n c h a i Commiserations to Daniel Rodriguez, but he is still a superstar of Muay Thai, and I'm sure he will be back and back stronger, Antoine. Yeah, absolutely. But now we are getting down to business because now is the main event, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. b u a k a o b a n c h a m e k one of the best K1 fighters, kickboxers of all time, taking on k i d o who we never got to compete against while they were uh, raising in uh, Japan. Both. Competing at kickboxing, never got the chance to fight each other. Kido wanted the fight, and he got it. But it's not in Japan. We brought the fight here to r a j a d a m n u n Stadium right now on RWS. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Japan, Yasuhiro Kido, and his opponent from Thailand, the superstar, the living legend. Please welcome. b u a k a o m o n c h o m e Kickboxing の黄金時代では、さまざまな最上級選手らが最強を求め戦いを行っていたが、その中でタイ国最強の王者ブアカオバンチャーメイクと。カリスマの王キロヤスヒロが唯一最後の二人に残った。黄金世代最後の二人が揃い、ラジャダムナイスタジアムの舞台で戦いが行われる。キドヤスヒロです。キックボクシングの団体 MA キックボクシングを一番最初に。チャンピオンになって、でその後は K1 ワールドマックス2008に日本王者
日本の中では野球サッカーでものすごい人気なスポーツなんですけどこの2つに k 1が乗っかったぐらいな状態でしたねでもどの会場行っても k 1の会場行ってもやっぱ1万人1万5千人がもうパンパンにお客さんが入るぐらいもう盛り上がってたしやっぱそこに名前がポンと出てくるのをまず一発目にバーカウ選手が出てくるんじゃないですかねまず。ショーでいうのは化け物半端じゃないとんでもない人間だなって思った身体能力も半端じゃないし動き技術もうちょっとレベルが違うなと思いましたね誰がこの男に勝てるんだっていうぐらい本当にもう化け物モンスターもうなんか立てる言葉はないぐらいすごい強かったし、まあ、しかも当時の自分はまだ全然。同いい年にいながらこんな化け物いるんだと思ってたしでも僕の前世は今なんでそこに差がすごいでかくあるかな僕は本当にスピードも落ちてないしテクニックは当たり前ですけど上がるしスピードのパワーも落ちてないんで、はい、変わらず来てるんで僕の方が部があると思ってますパワーバカオ選手スピードバカオテクニックバカオスタミナバカオ俺勝てないじゃん<笑>俺勝てないですよね<笑>違うわ俺<笑> k 1マックス昔のその k 1マックスの多分本当に最後の生き残り2人だと思ってて今なり現役でやってる中でその中で本当にやっぱ最後に残った人間2人の多分その今現役でやってる中で、まあ、昔マックスで出てた人間多分ゼロではないと思うんだけど、まあ、この2人で前回そのアンプルケア選手がドローになってるって言ったところもそうだしこれで勝てば多分自分より強いキックボクサーの40代はいないって世界でも。目視言えるかな判定にはしたくないですね、勝っても負けても、KO で盛り上がる試合をしたいですね、まあ、もうもちろん勝,勝ちにいきますけど。Here and here and and ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are. The superstar from Japan, Yasuhiro Kido. He says he is at his prime. And if there was any time he is going to beat the living legend, Waka Banchamek, it is now and it is tonight. Two fighters that have never faced each other. We're in the same tournaments, in the same era. And here, look at Kido, so confident. With millions of fans all over the world. Millions of Japanese fans watching at home on the zone. Is tonight gonna be his night or not? This is Yasuhiro Kido.
Ladies and gentlemen, Walker Manchama! For 20 years, this man has been the face of the sport of Muay Thai. The man who put Muay Thai on the map. The man who went to Japan and became a two-time K1 champion. One of the most recognizable sports persons in the world. Bokao Banchamek is about to take the ring here at Rajadam Nern Stadium. Watch, because it's not gonna be forever. Bokao has arrived. Everyone has their phone out, filming the legend, the son of Sarin, the White Lotus, Burkow. His first fight in 2003, ironically, was in Japan earlier this year, and he hasn't fought since. Last year, he took to the Rajadam Nutland Stadium ring three times, taking on Gotamura, winning by knockout, taking on Yoshihiro Sato, winning by knockout, and also taking on Yafimenko from the Ukraine. Undefeated in his last nine fights. Still active, still in great shape. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. There you can see Borkao Banchamek, 41 years of old age now, stands at 178 centimeters with a reach of 178 pounds. Born in Surin, Thailand, he has a professional record of 240 fights with 24 losses and 12 draws. Fighting out of his own gym, the Banchamek gym. Two time K1 world champion. Fighting at Rajnam Nur Stadium for the very first time this year. And in the blue corner we have Yoshihiro Kido, 40-year-old from Japan, stands at 186 centimeters, fighting out of Odawara, Japan. 55 wins, 25 losses, and two draws. 2008 K1 World Match Japan Tournament winner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The man he won of the event! And the US legend of Russian of Man, live at the boat first Muay Thai Stadium, Russian of Man Stadium. Are you ready? This vote is brought to you by M. Roy Hasim and introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the blue corner, 40 years of age. He stands 186 centimeters tall and weighed 160.9 pounds. He for a record of 55 wins, 25 losses, and two draw. He is former Crush Super Veteran Champion and 2008 K1 World Max Japan Tournament winner representing Odawara Japan. Let's hear it for Yatsuhiro Kino. Fighting about the Red Connor, 41 years of age. He stands with an and 78 centimeters tall and fed in with an and 61 pounds. He for a record of 240 wins, 24 losses, and two draw. He is two time K1 World Match Champion representing Surin Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Wuka! Thousands of 
thousands of people packed into Rajdamnern Stadium. Many for this very fight. You put Borkau's name on the fight card and you get a full house. It's that simple. Kickboxing rules. Borkau Banchamet in the red corner from Thailand. And in the blue corner from Japan. Yasuhiro Kido. Yasuhiro mentioned, he said he is at the peak of his career. If there's any time that he can beat Borkau, it is this time. Yeah, well, Borkau was uh, making his entrance to the ring. Yasuhiro Kido was actually getting in some practice. Smart. Yeah. He was, he was again. Kickboxing rules, there is no white rules, so sometimes the fighter can be a little bit tense as they get onto the ring. So it is always good to get those few minutes to relax a little bit before the fight actually starts. And here we go. As you can expect, Kido will be light on his feet, moving around, and Buaka will be pushing forward. Remember earlier tonight, we saw three Japanese fighters take to the Rajadam Nun Stadium. Ooh. Oh, spinning back fist there, attempted by Kido. There will be no open scoring as this is kickboxing as well. Oh, ho, ho. a low kick and Buakao says, oh. I did not enjoy this. Right to the bunch of mix. <laughs> well, he's going to get a few minutes to recover. Obviously, that was not intentional Ooh, workout says all right the bench and X are better it seems like it's okay <laughs> so we will yes, continue he is yes, human hero after all yeah absolutely <laughs> yes we're here paying respect apologizing beautiful front kick here as expected like I said workout pushing forward Ooh, good low kick again and then moving around right away yeah, when and they came together you pointed out that Kido is much taller than Borkao with a longer reach. And, uh, oh, Borkao not happy with the fact that Kido is running around the ring. Good right hand there from Borkao. Yeah, in the pre-fight interview, Borkao said it. I hope you do not run around so much. I do not want to be chasing you. But this is exactly what Kido is supposed to be doing if he wants to have a chance at beating Borkao tonight. Good knee there to the midsection by Borkao. Swinging left and right, hands coming in. Oh. Kick there by Kido, but Borkao threw a right hook. Oh. And a knee to the head. A little bit messy from both fighters, if you ask me. Not as clean as you would expect. The ref not separating the clinch somehow. Oh! oh -ho! Left high kick there, acknowledged by Buakau. Kido looks like he's enjoying it. On again! And again! Attempted, or should I say, fainted to go low, but went up high instead. Spinning back fist by Kido. Yeah, and straight in Buakau. Absolutely. In this and, and Kido mentioned it before. He said Buakau is not as powerful and is not as fast as he used to be. And this is why speed, footwork might be the key point for Kido to get the victory tonight. But power, we know Buakau. Good oh. the midsection <laughs> by Buakau. Kido says bring it. 45 seconds left on the clock. Beautiful tip there yeah, perfect, by Buakau. Perfectly timed front kick from Buakau. Oh, another right, a right shot to the body there from Borkow, trying to back up Kido into the corner so he can't move. Oh. He's an uppercut from Borkow. Yeah, good hooks. From, oh, good from right Kido. hand. Oh, oh right two. Right uppercut, right hand, and I think that's it. Body shot, right hand, left and right's coming and in. He's hurt. He's and hurt. Borkow. Kido is hurt. Can he get the finish? Kido wants to say I'm fine, but clearly he's not. One, two, three, four. Borkow, though, he needs to look at his energy. You don't want to be wasting any of it. Smile on his face from Kido. I'm not sure how. He was almost down there from that flurry from Buakau. But wow. he, he makes it to the end of wow. the round. And to be honest, without this fury towards the end of the round, Buakau could have lost the very first round. Absolutely. Those high kicks were on point yep. by Kido. But Buakau able to corner Kido and throw those combinations. Oh. Let's have a look, there's beautiful right hand from Buakau, left hook and good right knees coming in. Oh, a little bit low that time. Yeah, that was perfectly timed. We to this two minute break, so this is going to be... Alright, here we go, round two again, no open scoring here. 
in RWS as this is a kickboxing match. Buakao pushing forward as expected. Yoshihiro Kido moving around. Yeah, good left jab there by Kido. He doesn't want to get cornered. Oh, oh. left high kick there from Buakao. Oh, oh, good right hand as Kido was moving back. There's that stiff left hand again. Oh. Another right hand from Buakao. Kido continuing to move around the ring. Yeah, and Kido said Buakao has lost his power, but clearly he hasn't yet. Oh, another good knee there from Buakao. Yeah. Oh, and a low blow. Oh, and a low blow. And a low blow. The referee calls timeout. Yeah, absolutely. And Kido is going to take as much time as he needs because he is obviously getting a little bit fatigued there. But again, you, you might have to blame it on the ref as, you know, they're working in the clinch way too much, in my personal opinion, Aaron. Yeah, I've got to uh, agree with you there. The referee's been very lenient with Buakal. Should be no clinching, of course, in the sport of kickboxing. But Kido's back to his feet. It's one and one now for low blows. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right, but about two, min two minutes remaining on the clock. This is gonna be interesting. How is Kido gonna it looks like he's okay, bouncing on the balls of his feet. Good low kicks there by Kiddo. Buakau not blocking them. Oh, right shot to the body from Buakau. Good knee from Kiddo. Buakau swinging with that right hand. Yeah, he is a little bit messy there from both sides. Oh, fighters. left jab there from Kiddo. But as expected, Buakau pushing forward, and we know he's going to be stronger and stronger, going faster and faster towards the round. Low kick from Kiddo. Good boxing acumen there from Borkow and again looking for that knee to the body after a flurry of punches. Yeah, Kido looking very passive now, not really throwing anything. Do you like that left jab though that he keeps throwing? Good low kick, oh but Borkow here again. Yeah, and this is, this is the, the Borkow's power, pushing forward, making you tired within the clinch and just forcing you to actually fight. Low kick there by Kido. Good left jab, right hand, another left hook to the body. Here comes Borkow once again, good left knee. Muay Thai takedown obviously should not be allowed. Yeah, Kido not really fighting back as well. Oh, there's that left kick again by Kido. Fakes to go low, goes up high and connects to Borkow. Second time he's thrown that and second time it has landed in this fight. Here comes Borkow back into the corner again. Oh, there's that left knee once again to the midsection of Kiddo. Borkow bites down on his gum shield, moves across the ring. Left Ooh. kick there by Borkow. A rare kick from Borkow. Kiddo says nothing doing. Good left knee there by Borkow once again. A straighted figure though, Borkow. Yeah. I really thought at the end of that first round he could have finished Kiddo and he didn't. Good left knee once again there by Borkow. And Kido looking out of solutions. He is. Right now. Not really landing any punch. Oh, oh and here we go. Beautiful one two there. Momentarily. But again, Borkow in the clinch. End of <laughs> round number two. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, a lot of work in the clinch. An exhausted Borkow. Goes back to his corner. Remember, both these boys over 40 years of age. Let's have a look at the highlights. Oh. Snapping left jab there from Kido throughout the entire second round. But there, that oh. left high kick. Buakau took it, but it surely it hurt. Packed house, beautiful sight here at Ratchamno Stadium. We thank you for joining us around the world on the zone. We've still got. A lot of action in the upcoming weeks before the finals. Round number three. On, on. Bokal moves straight over towards Kiddo. Tented right high kick there by Kiddo. Swinging right hand and a left knee by Bokal. Heel kicks to the back of the thigh from Kiddo. That's a new one. <laughs> Even bemused Bokal. Bokal. Pushing forward, left knee to the body after a right hand. Oh, clash of heads. Oh, no. I didn't even see. That didn't even look that bad, but yeah, it's a, it was just a clash of heads. That's unfortunate for Kido. 
The referee's going to have a strong look at that. It opens so quick, and yes, so deep, so quick. We've had to call a halt to the contest via Doctor's Stoppage. The booker wants to have a look at it. But yeah, it opened so fast, that's very unusual for a cut. It must have been ridiculously deep. The only thing I can think of that it reopened an existing wound. Because it didn't even look like it was a bad clash of heads, to be honest. I'm sure we've seen a lot worse. Unfortunately, I'm not sure. He's, he's saying that it was a headbutt. Don't worry, we will get a replay. It's unfortunate that it has to stop like this. We'll get the official confirmation by Mr. Beer, of course, however they're going to score this or not. But let's see if we can find out where that headbutt did occur. Oh, you see, they both moved in and caught heads at exactly the same time. Oh, it was a bad clash of heads. Oh, and the blood just started to... Oh, my goodness. Straight away, spurting out like a fountain. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of accidental Dr. Stoppage, all the judges have declared this vote 
No contest! It's a draw, ladies and gentlemen! การตัดสินระบุให้มวยคู่นี้ครับไม่มีผลการตัดสินครับทำให้เสมอกันทั้งคู่ครับอะไรคิดอ if you could give me a few seconds here uh, over here คิดอ Obviously, you might be very disappointed with the decision. How are you feeling right now? Um, my head has blown out just now. Of course, the very first round, you started off very strong and looked really good. But in the second round, Boakao came back a little bit stronger. How are you feeling towards the end of the second round? Um, as expected, uh, Bokao has a lot of powers as I expected, but um, it's nothing more than I um, nothing more than what I thought. So I I, I thought it was no um okay. Ah, uh, can I get a plan? Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai พูดแปลกันง่ายๆเลยก็คือไม่เท่าไหร่สําหรับพลังของพี่บัวขาวในวันนี้ครับเพราะฉะนั้นแน่นอนครับผมต้องต้องขออนุญาตถามครับว่าแบบนี้จะมีโอกาสเจอกันอีกครั้งไหม Is there any chance that you guys gonna have another fight together? จะเข้ากันอีกครั้งไหมแต่ไปไปใช้ใช้ได้สุดครับเย่เย่ไม่ชอบเชื่อได้ดิสมาเตะลงนี่ก็ได้ชอตโต้อุ้มได้ใช่ไหมเสียวชอตโต้ชอตโต้ <laughs> well, I don't want to have to be a referee here, so, ladies and gentlemen, Kido! And of course, the living legend, I have to talk to you. Work how are you feeling right now, Tony? Okay, thank you very much. อ่ะก่อนอื่นก็สวัสดีแฟนคลับแล้วก็นักทุกคนที่มาดูนะครับบุคคลมีเรื่องหนึ่งนะครับจะบอกนะครับมีเรื่องในใจจะบอกจริงๆแล้ววันนี้รู้ไหมครับว่าบัวขาวเกือบไม่ได้มาชกแล้วก็รู้ว่าทุกคนรอดูนะครับเมื่อห้าห้าวันที่แล้วบัวขาวเกิดอาการป่วยป่วยเลยไม่ได้มาแถลงข่าวนะครับเลยปล่อยให้คิโตะมาแถลงแถลงข่าวคนเดียวเพราะว่าบัวขาวรักษาตัวอยู่นะครับเพราะว่าเหตุเกิดฉุกเฉินมากโดยเกิดอุบัติเหตุกล้ามเนื้อนะครับกล้ามเนื้อเมื่อห้าวันที่แล้วกล้ามเนื้อกระตุกนะครับเลยไม่ได้มาแถลงข่าวก็เลยปรึกษาทางทีมงานว่าจะเอาอยัางไงดีจะยกเลิกในการชกครั้งนี้ก็ไม่ได้นะครับก็เลยลองรักษาดูเมื่อห้าวันที่แล้วทุกคนในทีมงานนะครับ RWS เดือดร้อนกันมากผมกับทีมงานผู้จัดการนะครับก็พยายามหาทางออกแล้วก็รักษาตัวจนได้มาต่อยวันนี้นะครับแล้วก็ขอโทษทุกคนที่วันนี้จริงๆแล้วอาวุธแข่งอาวุธเตะต้องออกเยอะแต่ว่าเนื่องจากขายืนไม่ได้นะครับตอนนี้ยังเก็บอยู่พี่บัวครับเดี๋ยวผมขออนุญาตแปลแปลนะครับเพราะว่าคนทั้งโลกกำลังรับชมพวกเราอยู่ครับสวัสดีวันนี้ขอโทษเพราะว่าเมื่อวันก่อนเขาถูกบาดแผลที่ดีมากๆที่หัวของเขาและมีคำถามว่าจะทำไมฉันจะไปถึงไฟล์นี้หรือไม่แต่เขาไม่ได้หวังจะทำให้ฉันทุกคนตื่นเต้นวันนี้และนี่คือเพราะว่าเขาทำการแสดงผลวันนี้ครับแล้วสุดท้ายแน่นอนครับพี่บัวเจ็บขนาดนี้ทำไมถึงยืนอยู่ตรงนี้บนเวทีเวลาเชิญเดินครับเพราะเราเป็นคนสู้ไงเราใจสู้เราจนรักษาจนเมื่อคืนก็ยังตัดสินใจว่าเราจะเอาอย่างไงดีเราจะถอนหรือไม่ถอนในที่สุดใจสู้จน
ชกให้ทุกคนได้เห็นวันนี้ขอบขอโทษทุกคนที่วันนี้ได้เห็นการออกอุดบัวขาวน้อยลงเพราะว่าการเตะทวนาธรรมดาวันนี้เตรียมเตะอย่างเดียวโดยเต็มเตะอย่างเดียวเตรียมเตะศาสตร์แข่งทุกคนได้เห็นแต่วันนี้ไม่ได้เตะขอโทษแต่วันนี้ขอบคุณทุกคนที่มาเชียร์ครับขอบคุณครับบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโทษบัวเขาขอโท